What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Morning Show for Tuesday, May 23rd! Jesus. Oh my god! 2017! It's only three more days to our birthday! I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer Nick Scarpino. Kevin, did you say it's one, only a few more days to your three birthday? Three more days till his birthday, Big Kev Dog's birthday coming up. What are we doing for your birthday, Kevin? This is know. something that Joey Noel brought up to me today in my Uber over here. She texted me. So are you guys doing anything special for Kevin's birthday on Friday? Probably I not. said we are now. Yeah, I've been I've been plotting and scheming. I'll tell you what, with Kevin. One Tim Getty. Here's what I think we'll do for your birthday, and you tell me if this sounds good or bad. It's gonna be offensive. You're gonna hold me down and ball going. We're gonna wait one old, week, man. and then we're gonna throw you the coolest live show anyone's ever seen. How do you what? feel about that? Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. It'll be on the uh, it'll be at the Regency Ballroom. I think I think we can get that venue still June third. If that you want to great. get a ticket for it, you can go to kindoffunny.com slash KFL. I was going to say, I don't want to I don't want to bring out the fair weather birthday fans. A lot of people just come out for birthday parties. They don't even actually yeah. care about the birthday. Yeah. We shouldn't advertise it as Kevin's birthday. We should advertise it as Kind of Funny Live 3. I mean, however you think you want to get butts in the seats. <laughs> That's the way you do it. Yeah. We get Xavier Woods in there. Yeah. Act like it's about this, but it's really Kevin's birthday party. Yeah. His surprise party. We'll, we'll sing happy birthday yeah. to him. That'll it's be so fun. exciting. Kevin, what do you want for lunch on Friday? I don't know. I don't care. What does this mean? What, why I, are you going to be like this? Nah, What's I just, been going I mean, on with you this week? Here, oh, real quick, here's what I want to do. I want to call this out if we can do a quick time. Sure. I, the final PS I Love You XOXO is up right now. Yesterday during filming, Kevin was over there working stuff. And I haven't edited a podcast in a while, obviously, because mm-hmm. we've t- taken some time off since this all happened. Uh, I noticed that I am constantly looking over to Kevin like I am right now. Right. So as good and, and big as the TV is, Kevin, you need to get a bigger TV to block you. So we stop looking at you and we keep looking at the camera. I've been saying let's get a curtain for, I, I mean, since the last place we were at. Sure. I'm, I'm, now, I'm now believing you on that and I'm going to back you on that. I, I can't see Kevin at all because his TV is so big. I can't see it's him. It's true. So I'm he can't see me. Smart. Also, why do you want to stop looking at me? Because I just don't like, huh? I don't like how, I don't like that eye line being there. I like the eye line being the audience. Because this works too because then you pop up in your little thing down there and I see you. Uh, so that yeah, PSI Love You's live. That wasn't I wasn't promoting it. I was just saying. I mean, the heads up, it's promoted now. I, it's too I late. can't. But I was saying the fact that I don't want to look at Kevin anymore. So I need to start training myself to look over there. Not that I don't like Kevin. I just want when Kevin pops in to say something, oh. I want him to pop up down there. Mm-hmm. You sound right, like Paula. Right here. No, right there. Now right, it's lower right than this. it ever has been. Right here, ish. Kevin, pop up. That's what I like. That's what there I like. There is. To see. There is. Uh, so what do you want to do for your fucking birthday? Yeah, what's wrong with you this week? I don't know, it's just, you know, life's, life just goes on. You know what I mean? Life just goes on? Life yep. does just go on. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's true. That is, oh, blah, dee, la, life goes unfortunate. on. Unfortunate. Y'all got it. Look at that. But, I mean, we just want you to be happy, Kev. What oh, would make man. you happy on Friday? Uh, I guess we should just go to Outback. <laughs> okay. You know? Or, we, you know what we could do? But y'all going to shit on it. It's the Peruvian restaurant down the street. <laughs> I it's his birthday. This. See what I mean? Whoa. This is why I didn't want to say it. Is that Andy Cortez booing from the other room? Andy Cortez never eaten there. Andy Cortez, come in here and tell me why you're racist against Peruvian food. Peruvian food, damn good. Damn good. Why don't you like it? I don't know. I just wanted, wanted to be an asshole. I just want to antagonize Kevin. You should be a sure. Maybe right that's why I'm in a shitty mood. You know? Well, People I guess if it's your birthday, you know, I mean, we did watch... King Arthur for Yusef's birthday. We did. You've and never even been there, Andy. I'm tired of people talking shit about the places I like because they've never been there. I've been there. It's not good. <laughs> I'll go for his birthday. There's another Peruvian place, but it's farther. Oh, I don't so know. What does our Friday like look like? Oh, no. no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. But I'll go. I don't care. Maybe I just had a bad thing, even though it's the one thing they said to get and they've said forever. Lomo Saltados. Well, Lomo I hope your birthday saltados. gets here. It should curry up now. Right, Kevin? He wants to go to Korea up now, but hey, Kev, Greg, the, won't, Greg, the Greg won't Kev. eat anything. Kev, Greg won't eat anything. I will there. gladly go. He to Korea wouldn't up even now. try the fucking go water to curry up now. The one thing I was like, hey birthday. man, just make sure that like if you don't get anything, just try the water with the ice machine. You didn't and then say you that. bought. Yes, I did. No, you said that in the past when yes, we were there, I and it was time did. to remind me. Well, you, you were no, you were supposed to. Well, you, you still had a chance. You could have just put down the boxed water that was awful. Because cardboard, box, cardboard box and good. water. Box water's not bad. No, cardboard and water, bad combo. Well, it's not like untreated cardboard. Yeah, but like, great, you got plastic in you then. Here's what I was trying to figure out about you, Kev Dog. 
Because it's. Are we it, done with this, by the way? With what? Oh, PS I Love You? Yeah. Yeah, people have every final PS I Love You stuff. Here's what I don't understand about you, Cam Dog. Is I was, okay, it's your birthday. I want to do something special for you on Friday. I was like, what is Big Kev Dog like? Mm-hmm. Mm. And then I realized he likes everything. Mm-hmm. I've never heard, it's rare that Kevin doesn't like something. And since he likes everything, no, nothing no, no, no. is special. I don't mm-hmm. like Central Time, so. True, but I can't give so you not Pacific Time. Texas. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> okay. you know what I mean? I mean, you have every day of my life, you know what I mean? I looked at him again. It's so hard not to. It's going to be really hard yeah, to untrain this. How are you, Nick? I'm a little sick. Aww. Yeah. What's wrong? I don't know. I woke up this morning, I'm like, I don't know if I'm feeling that well. Wasn't feeling so good Why'd yesterday. Why'd you come in? Tim, we're down a person. Yeah. Tim getting ready for Kind of Funny Live Tim 3. Kind of funny live three. I know we got the podcast. I'm not feeling that bad, but I'm definitely like, am I getting sick? Is it starting to happen? See, then you're contagious, though. Fucking get get sick right now, though. You, you should know, leave. Leave right now and put Andy on. And then I, well, Jared Petty was coming in for the podcast yeah, everybody's anyway. Everybody's sick of Andy, though. Nobody's sick of Andy. Everybody loves Andy. You're right, and I love him, too. He's so lovable. Andy is very lovable. Go home. Andy, you want to do the morning show? Andy! Hold on, I'll slack him. Huh? Nick's, yeah. It turns out Nick's sick. Do you want to do the morning show? You want to do the morning show and you can go home, get out of here and stop infecting everybody? Do I have to use your microphone? Well, yeah, you but the, suck go, get the, go, get a, go get one of the butt wipe things and we'll take it off with that. That's not a disinfectant. That is not a disinfectant. That's for your that butthole. Thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Well, yeah, you okay with the three-man podcast? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I desperately tried to get out of it this morning, but I'd rather that... You were saying you were getting sick earlier. I don't want you getting me sick right before Kind of Funny Live. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because what'll happen is... You all know he's not sick, right? It'll he just incubate. wants a day off. Just put it, put it on the table. There you know how many times I've come here when I was... Put it on the table. Sick put it, on my why deathbed? Don't you, why don't you it's listen to me? Stuck on my fucking foot. God damn it, sicky! Okay. Now shoot. Shoot, you're disgusting and gross, and nobody wants nobody wants to get sick. Ha, ha. Don't kiss anybody on their way out. Everybody's saying feel better, Thank except you. for Nolan O three eight six who's saying fucking Nick. Wow. He said what we're all thinking. He Same said what we're, we're all thinking. thinking. Everyone's yeah. There you go. There it is. Boom. I don't mean that, Nick. Big that. Andy Cortez coming through. We've never done the morning show together. Bring in the writing. Bring Here the it is. Bullpen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sweet I like this. I like this quite Andy. a bit. Good lord, this screen looks so good. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we should take a photo of it at some point. Because nobody uh, understands what we're seeing. I'm going to take a photo of it and post it on my Instagram Second screen tomorrow. experience. When's the last time you did I one of those? I haven't done a second screen experience in a while. The last right, time whatever. you did one of those, huh? I'm going to do it here. I'm going to get creative with the framing. Okay. No one panic. That's okay. panic. I count that as panic. Okay, I see what's happening. Hold on. There we go. See, the thing I've learned about Instagram is people want the cool framing. Don't put anything dead center. Oh, okay. Why is your ear bloody? Is it? <laughs> You're oh. bleeding? Oh my god, he's infected! Is this the Nick infection? <laughs> it spread this quickly? <laughs> Alright, going to going to second screen experience here on the Instagram. Game over Greg, you might have heard of it. Big deal. Should I Hashtag, like it? Hashtag, yes you should. Hashtag second screen experience. Bam. Okay. Tagging Kevin, because he's back there smiling. Oh. Kevin, you're gonna get some. Getting you're, gonna that get, tag. you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Everybody go to that. Alright, so here, let's. This is the morning show, of course. It's not on yet. I feel like it's we on. haven't even... It's coming. It's a big photo. Oh, These okay. files, they don't, they don't transfer easily. You know what I mean? There, it's up. Here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, is the morning show can do anything. It's crazy. It's our wackadoo, whatever. You know what I mean? Great. Good story. So, usually, we would start in with the news. We do all this different stuff, but obviously, we're getting to a rolling start here. It's not even 11.15 yet. We got plenty going on. I'm excited to do my first one-on-one show here with Andy. Yeah. Andy, Andy, Andy. I don't, I'm not very excited the about that. The framing of this picture is awful. It looks like I was, I was the subject. But you're there for context to, s- to show how big the TV is. Terrible. I got it. I fucking nailed it. Thank you very much. First, uh, here's what we need to have a conversation about right now. Chat, you are going to be very involved in this, but let's lay out the rules before you get going. All right, before you get going, I need you to give me realistic picks. Not, don't shout out The Rock. Don't shout out Terry Hatcher. Okay. Today's game over, Greggy show was to be me. Nick, Andy, Jared Petty. I like having four people on the gogs. You can do it with three. Sure, no problem. Nick, now dead. Andy may be dead, but we won't worry about that yet. Nick so, wasn't even sneezing. I don't who would you like to see as a fourth person? Now, again, be realistic. I think even saying IGN people, unrealistic. I, they got jobs. I'm not yeah, going to get can't them. Just, they can't just come over here on a whim. Exactly, like, yeah. exactly. You think of all mm-hmm. the deadbeats you know 
that live in the San Francisco Bay Area that have nothing going on. In fact, this is even better. Are you a deadbeat in the San Francisco area right now? One of our deadbeat internet friends. Are you watching the show? Because if you text me, maybe that's how you do it. You know what I mean? Because there's a few of you out there that I know that got jack shit going on. Danny O'Dwyer. Exactly, right? What's that he What's doing? What's he even doing? Oh, my shillelagh. Polish my shillelagh. Oh, let's do a documentary. That's exactly what he's doing. And I see a lot of people thrown out. Okay, see? They're saying Gia. Gia has a job, guys. Yeah. yeah. Malik's gamer tag, I appreciate it. Some people now, are saying Cool Greg. We get a lot of Cool Gregs. I can call him up. Oh. I can call him up. <laughs> now the plot thickens. <laughs> now. What the fuck? Oh, look. What? It was. It worked! Who hit you up? Who hit you up? Was it Danny Somewhere, Dwyer? Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a San Francisco deadbeat. A lot of people have wanted... Did I say dirtbag or deadbeat? You said deadbeat. <laughs> deadbeat. You said deadbeat. That's what I've been saying. This is a San Francisco deadbeat a lot of people have asked for before. And now it's actually... Oh, no, Dan! Oh, no! Oh, this blew up my face! Oh, shit! I didn't think this many people okay. watched this show! I will gladly not be here if we can have those two people on here. That sounds but like a good idea. The only reason why I want that first person to be on here... Because it'll be a good competition with the hair. There's, there's, there's a good uh, back and forth that we can have about how we prepare our hair. So what has happened is, answering the call first, Nick Robinson. Nick Robinson from Polygon. Mm -hmm. Very, you remember him from having the biggest Cheeto. Remember that? That's, yeah. when, that's how he gamed internet fame. Yep. So, now, somebody shouting out Neil Druckmann. You don't understand how this fucking shit works. Neil Druckmann not here, also making a video game. He would never be able to get here. Then, I've, I've known Nick before the Cheeto stuff. Though. Oh, did A lot you? of people have known about him before that. Okay, okay. Now, okay, now Danny O'Dwyer was just hitting me up because it was, <laughs> that's a terrible Irish accent, you dirty racist. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean he's out yet. That doesn't mean he's yeah, out yet. That's yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's a good point. He also, has nothing to do. We all Poe know that. texted me saying, deadbeat Poe, but not in San Francisco. Well, thanks, Poe. Oh, that's not worth gotcha. fucking anything. We can Skype him in. It's easy. Yeah, Skypes. I don't think that technology exists. Skypes. Like oh, you know what I mean? When are they going to fix that? Platform, you know. Let's see, Skypes. Can All we pronounce right. it with an S now? I think that's the only Skypes. way from now on. I'm, uh, so Nick Robinson, I'm hitting up because okay. that is something we've been trying to get off the ground for a while. Yeah. Even though I guess, huh? I think Tim Gettys want to be in on that. Well, too bad Tim doesn't want to work with us anymore. You know what I mean? That's not. Don't. Fuck. Say we that. have so many people now. We this all this all expanded way quicker than I thought. Have all of them. Bring all of them. We can have 14 people around well, the Well, here's table. the thing. Now, stick with me on this. Okay. Is that I also needed somebody for the games cast this week. Tim was gone. I booked the one and only Adam Sessler. Mm. Oh, shit. And so I, but I'd like three on the games cast. Sure. Usual. So here's what we got to do. Now we got to move the pieces on the board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you figure, right now we have, right now we're cutting it off. Bring out the whiteboard. Can we get the whiteboard, please? I'll wait for the whiteboard. And my water, please. And his water, please. God, you're, look at you. You were born for this show, weren't you? Yeah. You fucking sick son of a yeah. bitch. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so now, so the way I see it here. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Okay. I need the whiteboard. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Spurs lost last night. Your favorite player's not going to play anymore. Yeah. It's very, very, uh, very heartbreaking. The return yeah, of the not. whiteboard. <laughs> Left. What? It hasn't been touched since Colin wrote Kevin and Paul's prenup. Upon dissolution of the marriage, Kevin Coelho is entitled to reign his 1% share in Kind of Funny and ownership of Thomas's. Paula gets the other assets, including Kevin's bank account, stock, 401k, etc. This is a binding legal document signed by Kevin Coelho, and I believe Colin signed as a witness. It's kind of fading off here as well. It doesn't matter. I mean, it was, it was, it was, you know, brought up and put on, it was, it, it existed. Sure, okay. You know, what are you going to do? Kevin, I do think that you can... Is Kevin's not even... Oh. <laughs> I live the TV so big, co-pilot can't see Kevin I can't anymore. See Kevin. They have no idea if Kevin's there or not. <sighs> there it is. There we go. Okay, let's let's get this graph going real quick. Oh god, this is like getting that? real dirty. You like that? I don't actually. I gotta get really good on my shoulder. It's I guess it's like that's kind of not your typical movement with that arm. You're going in a motion you're not quite used to. Oh no, I go all kinds of motions. Okay, yeah, oh. It's just, whew, I put up a show, you know what I mean? I'm, I don't want to know, actually. <laughs> but you will. Okay. Okay. And can you get my water after this, please? Uh, go ahead. Okay. He asked for the water, Kevin. It I, wasn't I already got it, it's right there. Okay. <sighs> oh, there it is. Almost, okay. no, you know oh, you what? filled Let's it up. See. All right. It was empty. It was totally empty. Oh, thank you. You yeah. fucking sweetheart. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, 
So I'm gonna turn it like this. Okay. Right. Do you want me? I can hold it. Thank Should you very much. Right. So the way the chair to hold. The way I see it, sure. The way I see it now is what we have is we have Nick, and I'm gonna call him Nicky R for Nick Robinson. Okay. Okay. We got Danny. We're gonna call him Danny O. Daniel. Or we're gonna Craig. do a little like it's an O with a smiley. Okay. For kind of funny. Okay. No, no, that's not right. Danny O'Dwyer is why Danny O is for Danny O'Dwyer. N- kind of funny is down here is KF. N- Nikki Rotten. Nikki Rotten. That's cool. Okay. Now, over here we have the wild card. I call him Cool Greg. Okay. Kind of the dark horse in this race. Sure. I. Seems but I'm like interested to see where he lands. He seems right. like the best candidate for a gog. Him and Nikki. Danny well, and now, Adam tomorrow sounds really good for a games cast. Well, it's going to be Thursday. So, yeah, okay, hold on. Regardless. So, what we have here then is today, GOG. Which stands for Game With Over Greggy. Jared Petty. Now, I'm just going to doodle Jared. Is he here in the room? Is that him? No, this is a doodle. That's a drawing. I, I, it does look so good that it does look like it. It looks bit. really good. Thank you. Can we see that, Kevin? Will you see the doodle all right? Thank wow. you very much. Fucking nailed it. That's Jared Petty. Don't forget. I'm shocked. Okay. I, you don't have to tell us is that now. Is that in the new line of emoji? No, not yet. Hold on, hold on. You know what? I fucked up. I didn't put the... Now, look, Kevin, give it, give oh, it a one. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's Jared Petty with glasses. Jesus. Now he can he put see his us. glasses on. He exactly. can see us way he better can see now. see us now. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then over here we have Thursday. I thought you were going to write Thug. Thug Life. Tony Hawk's Underground I misspelled skating. Thug, but uh, T-H-G means what Thug. Is, okay. <laughs> is that an H? Thug Life, but I did it with a Y. Thursday, Lucky? kind of funny games cast. All right? Okay. Uh-huh. With Adam Sessler. Sure. Fine. That now, great. do we know these people, <laughs> any of these people are available Thursday? Um, we'll get to that. You don't sure. think you need to jump ahead, all right? I'm just, I'm just saying that if they want to text you and tell you right now, it might be a good idea. Okay, I need Nick Robinson to chime in then on what his deadbeat schedule looks like for Thursday afternoon with Adam Sessler. So the way I f- you figure, right, is yeah, Cool Greg can easily do a GOG with Jared Petty, right? Easily. But he cannot do a games cast. Correct. I, I don't know. He, I know how little Tim knows about games. I know Cool Greg knows even less. Sure. Unless you know we're I mean? talking about a Harry Potter Lego. Well, come on sure. now. Uh, that's, that sounds like a Games Cast, me and him, or a Games Cast bonus episode. That's a you know two I mean? hour episode. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, okay, okay. Now, Nikki has said he Nikki can do Rotten. the GOG. Yeah, he can says. Can his whole name? Thanks. Nikki Rotten, sorry. Nikki Thanks. Rotten has says he can do the GOG. He also says he can do the Games Cast. Mm. Or, okay. With, with Adam Sessler. Okay. Remember Adam Sessler, Jared Petty. Right. I'm not forgetting them. <laughs> just, just putting it out there. Definitely you know not. what I mean? I'm going to add. A microphone here for Adam Sessler because I feel like that makes more sense. That's very. I feel like we're missing something. And Sessler, he had he had the five o'clock shadow. He had the five o'clock shadow. (laughs) How did he talk? That's uh, good enough. Close enough. Okay. (laughs) Now here's what I know about Danny O'Dwyer. He can do the game over Greggy show today, but Wednesday he said he. I'm gonna let you fill in the gaps here. Okay. He said he. A uh, vehicle. A uh, vehicle's on fire. Car's on fire. Har- uh, it's a plane. Train. It's a train. It's, it's a, a it's a train. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. F- a screenshot. New screenshots. Train tracks. Uh, tra- train. Train a new employee. Uh, tra- um, a whiskey bottle. Wh- uh, wh- whiskey bo- uh, battle. Battle of uh, of uh, Lexington. Smoke. Lexington Concord. Smoke. Danny says that on Wednesday. He is taking a train to Chicago. Fucking that's, that's shit. Really, windy city. That's really oh, slow. God damn it. Did, has yeah, anyone that t- is slow. Which means told Danny me- then cannot do Gamescast either. Okay. Can, we, can we call him and tell him there's faster ways to get to Chicago? Again, I'm... Can I get my one? Oh, I already was my one. I wasn't? Okay. What I understand, hold on, about Danny O'Dwyer again is Irish. Right? Oh, she is. Yeah. Very Irish. And from what I understand, no fly list. Is what Irish people have. Sure, I didn't understand either. But I, you can't, you can't check. A, you can't bring a shillelagh onto a plane. It's illegal. Like you'd have to put it in the cargo. Since and from what I understand, yeah, since I <laughs> Danny won't travel anywhere without his lucky shillelagh. Yeah. When he comes over here, he takes off his little green cap, yeah. puts his shillelagh right out of sight. 
We can all see it. It's just right over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? The world changed that day. <laughs> it did. So, I feel like then it, it, it answers itself. It sure does. Nikki Rotten, Gamescast on Thursday with Adam yep. Sessler. Danny O'Dwyer, I feel. I want, I'd like to see Danny get together with Jared Petty here mm -hmm. for GOG today. Mm -hmm. Cool, Greg? Fucked. We just, I mean, but... It is what it is. What's he doing right now? He's not paying attention to the show. He didn't text me. At the end of the day, you live and you learn. Yeah. You live. You, you learn. learn. You, you live. live. You, you learn. learn. Oh, so good. I was going at the end. Ooh. We'll, Red get, letter. we'll get it later. Remember that? So, I'd, decisions made? Or? Decisions made. Danny, Danny's going to come over today for God. Danny, come over at 3 p.m. Uh, Nikki Rotten coming over for the Gamescast Thursday. I need to look at that schedule. I think Sessler's coming in around I'll look one. Into it. Actually, Danny, if you want to come over sooner, we can get lunch together. Ooh. He lives like way far away. He'll never make oh, it. Oh, does he? Danny, yeah. get in uh, here. But yeah, come on over. There we go. He, we did some work today. Does he drive? Uh, I think he just got a car. Yeah, or right, just good. got a license. So, you know, maybe I don't know. He'll tell. He'll talk about it today on the Gog episode. That's that was mm, the wild card pick of Cool Greg though. That was a good one. Nikki uh, two thirty. Come at two thirty. Nikki, come at two thirty. Yeah. On Thursday. That's what it says here. Oh, but I'm, but I'm doing two shows with Sessler. I'm doing the games cast proper and then a bonus episode. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't mind Nikki Rotten being on the bonus episode too, but maybe okay. that you know. So you can come at one. We'll have lunch. Nikki Rot Rotten, come we'll at one. We're making steaks. On Thursday. Nikki Rotten, come at one on Thursday. Daniel Dwyer's texting now. What's he saying? He's See like, you at three. There it is. Bring your, he'll have his lucky shillelagh right off screen over there. Oh, my shillelagh. I love that man. I love Danny O'Dwyer. Yeah. Why is this chair here? Oh, we were using it for the whiteboard literally four seconds ago. Mm. You guys didn't I remember use that. It. You guys didn't actually use it. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kind of Funny Morning Show each and every weekday here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. We come to you with all the nerdy news you need to know about before jumping in the chat to answer your questions, comments, and concerns. In between those two segments, I reach into the internet, grab a video game, toss it to one of you, well, then we get in the chat, we do all that, we beg you to sub here on Twitch, it's easy. If you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch it's Prime, you so do it for easy. Uh, We tell you, of course, to come to Kind of Funny Live, it's June 3rd, kindoffunny.com slash KFL3. It's being hosted by Xavier Woods, WWE Superstar. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, if, you're, if, you're, if you don't ever catch it live, you can catch it on YouTube.com slash kindoffunny, or podcast services around the globe, and we try to have fun. We and if any of my relatives are watching, why don't you just donate the dollar uh, to Patreon? Or a tip, the $5 thing, and tell us an embarrassing Andy story. Oh, uh... Because <laughs> your brother watches all the stuff, right? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Yeah. For the most you part. Think he's Did you tweet out that you're on this show? No. I'll go ahead and do that. It I'll just wait. happened so suddenly. He's you know? waiting. Can you do it, please, Andy? I'm so sorry, Greg. Uh, Flynn Liv says Andy looks... Or, no, Kevin looks so sexy today. He does look good. I, I like this look. The, the pull, I have my life pulled together slick back here. Yeah. I'm on the Kind of Funny Vids morning show. There you go. Show. There you go. On Twitch, not TV, so How are you? No, no, no. Oh. Say, will there be nipples? Question mark? The answer is no, but they have How to come here and find out. How are you doing today? Is that fine? To put a link to it, you got to put twitch.tv slash kind of funny oh, games. Because okay. that's how the, you gotta, they don't know where that is. You know what that's I mean? right. I mean, we're, I mean, only one percent of the audience is going to click through this anyway. But if they want no link, you want, exactly, exactly. There, send it out. Yeah. How are you doing just, just today? Perfect. Hit send. Good. No. Yeah. Okay. Well. Cool. Okay. Okay. Well, now you can. Okay. Perfect. Send. Um. So, I don't know if you looked at the news lately. A lot of bad news. A lot of awful news. Um. As you know, the kind of funny mantra on most of it always is, we're you know <coughs> we're not the news. We're not here to you know go through everything that's happening and the bad stuff. And we don't want to dwell on it and all that jazz. And we want to try to be, you know, light up your life or whatever a little bit. But of course, thoughts to everybody over in Manchester. Yep. Um, terrible. Horrible. You know that's horrible. We don't have to tell you that's horrible. Uh, as usual, people who do this kind of shit are fucking cowards. Um, and yeah, that sucks. So, thoughts to everyone over there. Uh, everything's going to be okay. We'll continue on ourselves. Now we're going to get into video game and pop culture news, which I have bad news for you. Also not that good. This is the first story, of course. This is a, the, of the ones we're about to go through, the most lighthearted of the bad news. Red Dead 2 coming in spring 2018. Which is like, oh well. We exactly. have to wait for a cool Exactly. Game. I mean, that's the whole thing. Rockstar's statement on it, it, we don't have to click into it. Rockstar's statement is exactly what we'd expect. We're Rockstar. We put out games when we feel they're ready. This game's not ready. Blah, blah, blah. This is one of those normal things. I called it. Of course, everyone on Twitter wants to be like, oh, anybody could have seen this coming. You didn't all say it, though. 
Y'all thought I was crazy when I said it, when I was saying it on Gamescast when I was talking about it. No, I don't need a clap. I don't need applause, please. Thank you, Kev. you get one regardless. Thank you very much, Kev. Um, but yeah, Andy, right? Like this first, I was talking to some people about it, you know, yesterday when it was all happening. I was just like, sure, but I'm so behind right now in spring. Like this is what Dunham and I were talking about in terms of all the games this spring that I still haven't played, still haven't beaten Persona, uh, didn't even start Neo. Uh, never started near like there's so many things when started Chroma Squad last night. You know I'm I'm just, I'm scattered. Near Edith Finch, yeah. There's too many I played that. fucking games. Oh really? How was it's that? It's good. It's good. You should yeah. play. I like it a lot. Yeah. But yeah, I mean I could obviously I want a Red Dead. I want more Red Dead, but I can wait forever. Sure. I'll be. It'll be interesting to see if it actually makes spring even. Because again, Rockstar is Rockstar, and they want to keep. They want their proper. They've handled all their properties perfectly for the most part, right? Like hey, GTA is a phenomenon. Red Dead's a phenomenon. We don't need to. We've worry waited about this long. Why exactly. Not? Exactly. Just keep yeah. waiting. Yeah. So I'm okay. Are you okay, Andy? You're gonna be okay. I'm with totally it? fine with it. Yeah, All right. Good. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, in the chat, Mr. Manchu says, uh, or Machu says, the screenshots look dope as fuck. Yep, they do. Screenshots do look good. If you want to hop over and see those guys. Um, uh, also in the chat, Who Fan One, stop announcing release dates. You have no idea if they can make. If you can make. Another good point. Mm. It's always interesting when they do this, but you know why they do it? Stock prices go up. Yeah. Everybody gets excited. They start talking about the game again. Investor calls. Investor calls. We're gonna hit this quarter. We're gonna do these quarterly earnings. We're gonna mm-hmm. do all this different stuff. Is my ear still bleeding? It's not blood. It's like scabby. It's like clearly you nicked oh. it with your razor, maybe. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. You shave your ears? I yeah, need I, to. Right I had now. like a. I had like a fucking white long hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You Very bizarre. Bad, yeah. No, I have I get that peach fuzz in my ear, and I got, I go in there with the sideburn trimmer, go boom, 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 boom. Oh, interesting. And then uh, I got, Jen the other night was like, "Oh, you got some ear hair." I'm like, "God damn!" It was like this long. That's longer than it should be. It like I my thing about the, I didn't notice it exactly the long weird hairs like you get like I'll get some like below my yeah. hairline. It drives Nick crazy because I have to pluck my hairline because it grows in now, comes down. You know what I mean? Whereas <laughs> his recedes. My oh, brother. sure, sure. But I'm like, how the fuck did I miss this for this long? Did you grow overnight? Do you know what I mean? Was just a like, boo. Kevin, you you were almost a biologist. Does that happen ever? Boo! Accelerated hair cells. I'm fucking looking at him again. I'm sorry. No. It's like I want one of those uh, one of those time lapse cameras when the flower grows out of the ground. Yeah. I want to see yeah. it on my head or on my ear. Okay. Lobe. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Can we set that up? Like, is that in our budget? Kevin, can we do that? Uh, I mean, I have a hidden camera on him already. I can review Great, that. I think mean, we just have to you know Sweet. hold you down though. You can't move during that. Couple weeks. Okay. I mean, you don't have to hold me now. I could just lay down. No, no, no. We'll move no. a little bit, I bet. Yeah, we have to. Mm. Mm. Like, we I have reading, to. I was reading The Mighty Thor, right? Jane Foster book, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I dug when she left the hammer on Loki's chest, and he couldn't move then. I was like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. That's good writing right there. Mighty Thor. Why wouldn't that crush That's good that? fun. He's a god, too, right, or whatever? That's good fun. It's all magical shit. I don't know. Why is anything happening in fucking comics or space? It, god damn it, I gotta stop looking at Kevin. Get the curtain, Kev. All right. Thank you. It's also interesting now with the new camera, the confidence monitor being so low that I no. can't see when Kevin's on camera. You shouldn't be looking at it, though. Isn't it, what's the point of the confidence monitor? I mean, it's like... It, Why everyone, isn't it called... It's like before shots and after shots, not not like the whole time during. The confidence monitor. Okay. Maybe during, but like not like the whole time. All right, well, strap yourselves in. The next three stories are from our world of pop culture and are extremely sad, real sad, not video game delay sad. Uh, first up, the Roger Moore Twitter account put out, with heaviest of hearts, we must share the awful news that our father, Sir Roger Moore, passed away today. We are all devastated. Uh, Sir Roger Moore, KBE, actor, UNICEF ambassador, author. It is with heavy hearts that we must announce our loving father, Sir Roger Moore, has passed away today in Switzerland after a short but brave battle with cancel, cancer. The love with which he was surrounded in his final days was so great it cannot be quantified in words alone. We know our own love and admiration will be magnified many times over across the world by people who knew him for his films, his television shows, and his passionate work for UNICEF, which he considered to be his greatest achievement. The affection our father felt whenever he walked on on a stage or in front of a camera buoyed him hugely and kept him busy working into his 90th year. Through to his last appearance in November 2016 on stage at London's Royal Festival Hall. The capacity crowd cheered him on and off stage, shaking the very foundations of the building just a short distance from where he was born. Thank you, Pops, for being you and for being so very special to so many people. Our thoughts must now turn to supporting Christina in this dif- at this difficult time, and in accordance with our father's wishes, there will be a private funeral in Monaco. Deborah, Jeffrey, and Christian. So again, thoughts to all of them. Terrible, but of course... Part of life. 
Yeah. Yeah, you know, it'll be one of those things. His films will carry on. People have mm-hmm. that to look forward to and remember him by. Did you care about James Bond ever? Not really. Yeah, I mean, was never a huge 007 fan. Yeah. No. Yeah, Even yeah. with like the newer versions of the newer incarnations of. Them. I feel like that's one of the things with N- Nick, where it's like uh, Nick is old because he really loves James Bond. I'm just like, I don't get him, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's sad, man. You ever really feel like Nick's niche. old? Um, the other day when he was um, comparing, I think he was trying to make Kevin. Was it a Tinder comparison? Look at the camera. Don't look at him. To uh, to Discord. I think it was. I think it was Grinder. It was a very <laughs> like old sounding comparison. Sure, sure. Um, I don't like to make those old jokes though. Hurts I feel his like, feelings, you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's trying. No, it doesn't hurt his feelings. I mean, because think about all the jokes he makes at Kevin's expenses. You think those hurt Kevin? Of course they do. Yeah, they, they do. Deep. You're right. You got to give as good as you get. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you're weak. Mm-hmm. I can't not look at Kevin right now and look at the because I yeah. see just his. Just his scalp. I'm trying is, to hide. I'm trying to hide now. His Can scalp is just scalp over now? the horizon. You are above the the PlayStation VR I can't do it. camera. Oh fuck! Did you, you did you watch did you watch the uh, PS I Love You XOXO yet? No. All right, cool. Turns out today PlayStation VR game coming out called Special Delivery. It's first person paperboy. Oh, we're fucking getting that shit and playing that. Oh, I want to let's play that. That sounds fun. Too sweet as they say. That sounds Too fun. sweet. All right, cool. Uh, next horribly sad story comes from IO Interactive, again on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is where all the news breaks nowadays. As you know, IO, of course, uh, the whole Square Enix thing happened where Square dumped them. Didn't sell them, just dumped them, like looking around for something. But this is what happens when that happens. Were they and, initially trying to sell those IP? <laughs> it was confusing. Uh, there was, uh, I haven't, I mean, I went to Judges Week, so I haven't heard the follow up to it. Uh, initially, it sounded like Square just dumped them. Then there was a statement where Square was like, we're trying to sell them, and I don't know what's happening. But, as you'd imagine, that means the changes of the studio have to happen. Today at IO Interactive, we had to make some changes to our studio, which will allow us to be better equipped for our future in- adventures. We're sad that great talent and good friends will be leaving the studio. We are doing everything possible to look after everyone affected. Thank you for your support and understanding. So, a simple message, uh, what would be, I would say, expected, still doesn't make it any easier to take, of course, the fact that some great guys, the Hitman team, and gals, obviously, uh, having to leave now as IO figures out what the next step is. And this was my concern when they announced this, is if Square's just dumping them, that's all well and good, but where, wh- how, wh- what do you do? Like, if they're still, I'm going to check in the chat. chat Franchise-wise or employee-wise? Both. Because like, my problem is if, from what I last heard, right, was that they were still figuring out, like, Square, I'm 90% sure, owns the Hitman franchise, but IO was... Trying to, t- there was scuttlebutt that there was talk of maybe IO being able to get the franchise. Mm-hmm. But if they don't have the franchise, they can't make anything else, so they can't make more money. So all of a sudden, the capital stopped, right? Or will stop, or wind down, and all this different stuff. So if that's happening, while you wait to figure that out, you can't be making another game. And even if you were, there's no revenue coming into the business to pay the people. Mm-hmm. So I really feel like that it could, they could die in the vine kind of situation. Sure. If that'll happen. Yeah, I, you know, as far as employees go, that sucks. Like getting laid off. Is awful. Yeah. Um, a lot of them are super talented, obviously, and they're going to find jobs elsewhere. But well, it's just I... it's just the inconvenience of like, hey, maybe they just fucking bought a house and yep. they're settling down, and their wife got a job or their husband got a job, and now they have to pick up and leave again because maybe there's not another job locally. Right. That, that's the shit that really bums me out about. Exactly, that. and that's the thing about it where Remedy Studios tweeted out right away like, hey, we're hiring. You know, what I mean, like, yeah. the video game industry is. Really, very willing to pick everybody up. Exactly, yeah. the Google Docs that go out when layoffs happen, all these yeah. different things. Gamma Suture and all that. Yeah. Now, Damien Art says IO has the IP for Hitman, from what I've read. Where did you read that, Damien Art? Because I would like to know that. And I'm not saying you're wrong. I just can't believe Square would let that happen. But I mean, maybe they let it go. Maybe I don't know. I need to. I, I'm still waiting on this information. Now, also here to the extreme, so special delivery comes out June 6 for PlayStation VR peeps. Damn it, you're right. I forgot that that was in the trophy rundown, not the new releases, right? Fuck. I want it now. Don't want to wait till E3. It's E3 week, pretty much. A week before E3, I guess. Probably just hit them up then. That's true, too, I guess. Yeah. Just pop a little slide in their DMs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like where everybody's head's at. Trophies are live, so that's all that matters to me. Uh, final super sad story, and then we will get on with it. Uh, over at The Hollywood Reporter, Zack Snyder steps down from Justice League to deal with family tragedy. Superheroes have always been about how uh, have always been about doing the right thing in the hardest of circumstances. 
Now Zack Snyder, one of the biggest filmmakers in the genre and the director of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice in the upcoming Justice League, finds himself in just such a situation. Snyder tells The Hollywood Reporter he is stepping away from Justice League, Warner Brothers all-star DC Comics superhero mega movie that is in post-production in order to deal with the sudden death of his daughter. Snyder's wife, Deborah Snyder, who is a producer on the Justice League, is also taking a break to focus on healing their family. Stepping in to shepherd the movie through post and shooting of some of the additional scenes will be Josh, Joss Whedon, the Avengers filmmaker and creator of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Slayer. Ah. With Whedon's help, the movie is still on track for its November 17th release date. Snyder's daughter, Autumn Snyder, died by suicide in March at age 20. Her death has been kept private, with only a small inner circle aware of what happened, even as the movie was put on a two-week break for the Snyders to deal with the immediate effects of the tragedy. Zack Snyder says he initially was eager to return to the film, which stars a whole bunch of people and doesn't matter right now. In my mind, I thought it was, cathart I thought it was a cathartic thing to do to get back to work, to just bury myself and see if that was the way to go through it, said an emotional Snyder in an interview Monday in his office at, on the Warner Brothers lot, with Deborah sitting by his side. The demands of this job are pretty intense. It's all-consuming. And in the last two months, I've come to, the, come to the realization. I've decided to take a step back and, from the movie and be with my family, be with my kids who really need me. They are all having a hard time. I'm having a hard time. Studio is fully behind the move. They continue on and so on and so forth. So again, best wishes to these folks. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, the Snyders aren't watching this show, but you understand that is. And I think the real key here is the fact of, as always, remember family comes first. And remember, as I've said a million times on all the shows, as we've talked about in Game Over Greggy, you're not allowed to kill yourself. Period. End of statement. We've talked about this a million times, where if you're struggling, I understand that. Reach out for help. You can talk to the kids in the forums. You can obviously call suicide hotlines. Talk to a professional, sure. But I'm saying start somewhere. Don't ever think it's so bad that this is the only way to do this. This is not the answer to your problems. There are lasting effects. I mean, and I'm not talking about the movie here. I'm talking about their family and stuff like that. And also, of course, remember that if you're struggling with something else, it's okay to stop and stop and realize, as Zach does, this is just a movie. Your, your job is just your job. It's okay to take a break, take a breath, take a mental health day, and go be with your family, settle down. We all get caught up in the rigmarole and the runaround and all this jazz. It'll be better. If you're going through hell, keep on going. All the dumb cliches people say but are true. Right, Andy? Yeah, that's, well, such a sad story, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't believe it. Um, I'm shocked that it was held, it was under wraps for so long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what was kind of surprising to me, also. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah, exactly that they were able to do that. But it, I think, it speaks to the fact of the respect of that. I was, it was interesting to he, them really. I thought they were going to leave it when I read the headline and they're saying family tragedy. I was like, oh, they're probably going to leave it at that. But to actually get in there and say yeah. suicide, suicide is one of those interesting things. Of when I worked at the newspaper. If someone killed themselves, like there, there would be plenty of times where I, I've been sent to crime scenes. I've beaten the police to 911 calls where in the, in there's somebody there and like it might be a suicide, so stand off, be standoffish and shit like that. And when that when it's confirmed suicide, you close the notebook and you go. You know we don't need a report on that. Now, that's obviously awesome in terms of a I'm just a video. Or I'm, just, I'm just a journalist on the street in, in a small town. I don't need to report on this this wife's husband killing himself, right? Mm -hmm. But it also then I think as always, helps keep suicide as something we don't talk about. You know what I mean? It's something people deal with, but we don't talk about it and we don't do it. So the fact that this happens and they are out there speaking about it publicly, they are talking about it, I think that's a good message to send in the way of that is a curtain that needs to be pulled back. Suicide does need to be discussed appropriately and honestly in, in public forums. I guess it's looked at as like a shameful thing or, you know, yeah, things like exactly, that. Yeah, exactly. Sort of has that, that uh, bad viewpoint on it. But uh, I could totally understand his... His frame of thought thinking, I'm just going to work through 100%? this. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, we've all that's been so there, tough. right? When there is something mm -hmm. bad, you pour yourself into your work, and that's how you do it. But not always the right solution. Uh, so now a palate cleanser. Get on, get on, get back to good stuff. Over here on Kotaku.com, they have this article of this cute little boy and his cute little father over in Japan. Uh, Twitter user, I can't get open, hold on. Twitter user, Mohanakan. Notice that his son made a cardboard Nintendo Switch, probably because he wanted, wants us to buy it, Mokana had added. After doing that, Mokana didn't just give his son the new N Nintendo hardware and its retail packaging. What he did was better. Now, if you want to scroll down, Kev, it's, they show a few things of, like, his son isn't alone in making cardboard Switch hardware, but he's the only one making all sorts of paper crafts and computers. So he made computers, he did this, yeah. he did all this stuff. I used to do the same shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. Go down one more, Kev. This is my favorite one. Like, he made, like, this console here with a little controller oh, where you yeah. play this thing there. Uh, and then, yeah, scroll down one more, Kev. 
You see him there, his cardboard switch he made, where he's just sitting there playing it with the Joy-Cons like that. When his son was taking a bath from Kanagan put the real switch into a cardboard mock-up, I wonder if he'll notice the new father wrote with Mario Kart i8 on. Great pick, by the way. And then the next one looks like he enjoys it. That what an fucking awesome rules. Photo, right? What an awesome photo. <laughs> so good things are still happening in the world, even though we're having a bad day right now. Uh, a cute thing there. Um, let's jump over to IGN.com. Where Matt Porter says PlayStation Network now has 70 million active users. I'm going to read this whole article. There's a bunch of interesting facts and figures. Sony has announced that its online PlayStation Network now has 70 million monthly active users. The information was released in a slideshow going over Sony's 2016 financial year and some of the strategies for the upcoming year. By the end of 2016, PSN had reached over 70 million active users across all Sony consoles, and the plan for this year is to expand the number of hardware units sold to 78 million. In addition, by the end of last year, there were over a third of that number, 26.4 million paying, play, paying PlayStation Plus subscribers. Sony is also looking to expand the appeal of PSVR, bring improvements to PlayStation View, and develop a new audience by creating quote-unquote a new mobile content opportunity in Japan slash Asia, Asia region. Expect more announcements to come from Sony at E3 this year, which is now only a few weeks away. The company's press conference will take place Monday, June 12th at 6 p.m. PT. Of course, heads up for E3. We'll be live for pre and post shows for every conference. So we'll be live probably 5.30 for the Sony conference to run through what I think is going to happen and then right afterwards to talk about it. But I thought the interesting thing there, 70 million active users, don't get me wrong, awesome. A third of them are playing, are paying for PlayStation Plus. That's huge. Now, granted, it's like, you know, their version of Xbox Live and all this stuff, but I've never known if that was a bigger, big enough motivating factor for people. PlayStation Plus? Yeah, well, online gaming for it. Oh, I see. Okay. Like, when they were like that for, when they announced that for, you know, PlayStation 4, you'd have to have this. I was like, all right, cool, but I don't know if that's going to drive numbers, but clearly it has. That's, man. So, like, aside from PlayStation, like, Sony is just, like, kind of doing really bad, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's why I've always... It's, I, it's what's keeping the ship afloat. Exactly. And so wouldn't it be surprising to me if everything continues to go shitty for Sony that they eventually sprint, sp you know, sp spin out PlayStation. Like, here yeah. you go. But yeah, uh, PlayStation continue to kill it, obviously. It's a lot of people. And my PlayStation 4 Pro is very loud. It's loud? Very loud. That's not supposed to happen with the PlayStation 4 Pro. It's very loud. Yeah? It sounds like it's going into, like, fucking Orbit? overdrive mode. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just, like, in the menu... That's not good. That's not good. I'm watching some Hulu Plus. Yeah, I keep wanting my bedroom PS4 to die, so I have an excuse to buy the PlayStation. Sure. 4. Just kill it. No, I don't want to do that. That's wasteful. But <laughs> it's 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 the it's the 20th anniversary unit, so even mm. when it does die, I'll just put it on a shelf. Yeah. But the problem with this motherfucker is that every so often it's just like I'm gonna spit this. I'm like nothing in there. I'm playing uh, you know fucking Marvel Heroes Omega. It's making that noise over oh, and over again. So it's not spitting a disc because no. you don't buy discs. Yeah. It's so I gotta just... get up, I gotta get my screwdriver, I pop off the top plate, there's a little shitty screw I screw in. Some maybe one third of the time it works and doesn't fuck it's me up. It's not the screw's fault. You don't have to call the screw no, shitty. No, the screw's right? a piece of shit too. It's a little, oh. it's a little plastic screw that is, clearly isn't catching or doing it. It sucks. Everything sucks down there. Stupid fucking PlayStation 4 in there. Being a piece of trash. You know, Kevin? Yep, piece Kevin of trash. Kevin knows what I was talking about over there. Kevin understands what's happening. Um, so here's something that's still been going on quietly. But we have information on it now. Over at GamesIndustry.biz, Christopher Drink says, Game companies are agreeing to strike terms, says Screen Actors Guild. Some video game developers have agreed to pay voice actors royalties based on game sales. That's according to Screen Actors Guild SAG AFTRA, which has spent more than six months striking against 11 video game companies in an effort to improve the working conditions and compensation for voice actors. Those 11, 11 companies are Activision, Blind Light, Disney, EA, Formosa, Insomniac, Interactive Associates, Take-Two, Warner Brothers, VoiceWorks, and Discovery Films. SAG said in its trade magazine that some companies have agreed to residual payments. They've offered a full day's wages for every 2 million units a game sells, up to 4 payments at 8 million sales. However, the firm hasn't revealed which studios have agreed to these payments. It says 30 games more than... It says 30 games from more than 20 companies have agreed to deals, quote-unquote, under the same terms that the AAA games have refused, which suggests that the big businesses listed above have yet to agree. Quote, these deals show that other companies see that what we're asking for is reasonable, said Phil Lamar, a performer quoted in the magazine. Of course, Phil. Vamp. Vamp, yeah, yeah. I was going to go to Jon Stewart, Justice League, Green Lantern. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, he's that. Phil's everything. He's in a million Phil's figures. everything. He was yeah, also on right. Mad TV for a long time. He was, yeah. Yeah, met him. Nice man. Uh, SAG president Gabrielle Cardis added, this is a crucial time. The video game companies are getting ready to start production on a slate of new titles they need and want our members 
to be talent on their games. Uh, I It's one of those, there was the big hashtag performance matters, all this stuff was happening, mm -hmm. then it quiet, and then it was like, all right, we're, there is gonna be a strike, there is gonna be a change, and then it kind of quieted it down. And you kind of forget that it's happening. Yeah. And like here, here it is happening over there, and I have heard scuttlebutt that games are starting to be affected in terms of, well, this person isn't able to do this because of X, Y, and Z. I totally forgot what was going on. <laughs> right, yeah. And it was, you know, it's one of those, it'll be interesting to see the ramifications, because when they announced that this was gonna happen, it was the th problem that people were talking about, and the fact that, well, contracts already signed for games, those get honored, it's the new ones that happen. So is this going to lead to kind of like a writer strikes thing where the TV we're watching now is fine, but then the next season's fucked up, right? So in two years are we gonna get a game where it's like, oh, who's this voice actor? I've never heard of this Just person. Me like, on there. Hey, <laughs> like, it's Andy. Hey, hey, get, bring back that gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I should reload this weapon. Whoa. <laughs> Over. Gamespot.com. Tamor Hussein says, Valve hired a bunch of former Kerbal Space program developers. Uh, I'm gonna read the original and then jump into the update. Valve has hired a number of developers from Squad, the team behind acclaimed PC Sim Kerbal Space program. Although the developers were hired around six months ago, the news only surfaced recently. Speaking on the Game Dev Unchanged, pod Unchained podcast, sorry, Roger Lundin, who worked as an environmental designer at Valve between 2010 and 2013, indicated that Valve is paying close attention to smaller devs and modders. Valve is still buying up mod teams, he said. There's a group that made Kerbal Space Program. I think that happened four or five, maybe six months ago. They just gave the entire team jobs. During the podcast, Lundin referred to the ex-squad squad members as modders, which briefly led to some confusion <laughs> as to whether the... Now there's an update up here. Update reads, Squad has released a statement clarifying the news, reiterating that these are former members of the studio who have joined Valve and reassuring fans that Kerbal Space Program remains in development. Quote, there was news today that former KSP developers have joined Valve, Squad wrote in its forums. We want to clarify that Squad is not joining Valve. What we continue to, that we, and we continue to be an interactive, in, independent studio with the core Ker Kerbal Space Program team remaining at Squad. Hard at work on an improved KSP for the console port, blah, 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 blah. Uh, interesting that they're doing this. Not unheard of. That was the whole thing with the, you know, the, in Portal 2, when they had the gels that made you go fast and made you bounce high, that was Valve, remember, going to, I think it was, I want to say, it, I don't know, it was that they went to basically a game presentation for kids graduating college. And there was a team that had made this thing with all this bouncing stuff. And they were like, all right, cool, all of you come work with us. Mm. And they brought them in and made that into Portal or whatever. So cool they're still doing that. What was her name? Kim? Kim Swift? Kim Swift. Yeah, yeah. Kim yeah. Swift. And then she went and did a Quantum Conundrum. Mm. Remember that game? Don't remember that game. Okay, well, it had a really good... Flash drives, USB flash drives, they give out a precedent. Oh, they still okay. float around here once in a while. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. interesting. But it was a portal light game where you, you went through and you made like a safe, but you made it out of, there would be a safe, but you could change its properties to be like feathers or cloud. I think a cloud, so you could move it and get it mm, out of the way. Interesting. One of those games. Change the way you think about things, Andy. I don't think, with, the the, way you think. I don't think with those games very well. No? I have a dumb brain, Greg. Don't we all them? When it comes to like I puzzle, love those games. when it comes to puzzle games, mm -hmm. any mm -hmm. games with like, even like basic shit like Uncharted, the puzzle oh, sure. there, I'm just like, what's going on here? Right, you're trying <laughs> to remove the sun and get <laughs> it all It's so easy, yeah. I'm not a smart boy. A uh, quick PSA from GameSpot.com. Uh, Alex Newhouse has PS4 beta registrations open for Rezo Gun Dev's next game. That's next Machina, and it's awesome. We all love Housemark here, you know that. Housemark has made a name for itself, creating hectic, entertaining, top-down shooters like Super Startup. Stardust, Resogun, and Alien Nation, and its next game, Next Machina, looks to continue that trend. The game is coming next month, but you can register now for a chance to play it early on the PlayStation 4 closed beta starting this weekend. There's a Google Forum link there, or you can jump over to Housemark's Twitter page, click on that, and do it. Uh, we have played Next Machina here. Our friend Mikhail came by. We did a Let's Play that'll never go up because it was one of Colin's last one, and you'll all freak the fuck out. So, but I, be, I it was really good. I love Next Machina. I love how. How good were you? I beat Colin, which was surprising. Interesting. We did a high score thing. Oh. I was able to edge out Colin, which I didn't think I had a shot at. Interesting. Being how, you know, Colin was talking to Mikhail, I was very focused. Oh, okay. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to win. Okay, I see. I, I see. did. Some say that's the reason he left. Oh. <laughs> he was, he, he Colin's like, I've been disgraced in a house more game. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, but no. It's like uh, losing on your home turf. Exactly. He's like, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to make a new home turf in Santa Monica. That's like, <laughs> that's like me on Mute City in Mario Kart. Eight. I've beaten you there a few, a few dozen I times, think, I think. Don't think you have. Pretty sure I have. Kevin? Kevin. I'm pretty sure he has. Thank you, Kevin. Oh. Yeah. Final story! 
is a sad one, but not like sad, like the real sad we've dealt with. Polygon says Wonder Woman won't have a post credit scene. Julia Alexander reports. Thank God. I love that people are letting us know this stuff before. True. That I, okay, okay. If it seems like every movie these days has a post credit scene some audiences have to stick around for, Wonder Woman is looking to go against the grain. Wonder Woman, or Warner Brothers' next installment of the DC Universe won't have a post credit scene, according to producer Charles Roven. Roven told Cinema Blend the studio wasn't against including the tease. After all, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, but they didn't want to force the inclusion. Quote, I'm not going to say we'd never do one. There was one in Suicide Squad. But I don't think that we want to feel that we're forced to do something just because we didn't do it, we didn't in the past. Uh, the post-credit scene has become, and then she goes on the fact that it's there. I hate this. I love post-credit scenes. They're like the fun, they're like the, the dessert. I got the movie now, I got a little dessert of what's happening. You wanted a little hint to what the next thing was going to be? Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what what I mean? was Suicide Squad? I don't remember. Great. That's what I was trying I to remember. I think I may have just left and be like, fuck, fuck this, this shit. <laughs> I, I, this is terrible. I'm burn I'm this fucking, theater to the ground. I hate everything. Golly. Um, yeah, fuck. What was the Suicide Squad one? I'm sure Chad was it Joker know. or something? <laughs> I can't remember. It's kind of sad that I don't remember. Kevin, do you remember oh, the... Oh, Bruce talking to Waller. Oh... Okay, and she has the documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we kind of yeah. Yeah, it was a shit. It, was, it was a really, it was a really shitty end scene. Good yeah. lord. Yeah. That Gosh, movie. I fucking hated Suicide Squad. Oscar-winning Suicide Squad. No, I hate that argument. I hate that argument. It, there's no argument. It won. No, no, no. But it's. Uh, I think I was like arguing with Barrett from IGN, and I was like, Arrival is like, and he was like, Arrival didn't win an Oscar. Suicide Squad did. I was like. That's not. It you know that from, doesn't work. That doesn't, it, yeah. Makeup is not the same as Best Picture. You know that. Yeah. You know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah, I know. God, that's so frustrating. Fucking Barrett. Fucking Barrett. Piece of shit. Oh, uh, nothing's good enough for me. I'm Barrett. Typical IGM. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Fuck that. Fran with a seven. Seven out of ten. Too much water. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Suicide Squad. Are you, what, what's your read on Wonder Woman? Um, I I get the feeling that I'm probably not gonna like it. Now, that's not saying that it's not going to be a good movie. I just feel like it's not going to be for me. Not an indie movie. Yeah, I just don't like period pieces. Did you like Captain America at all? I hated the first one. Okay. I mean, I didn't hate it. I just, it was whatever. It was fine. It was whatever. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't hate any of the Marvel movies. I think, like, at worst, to me, they're just like, eh, it's fine. Um, I feel like I'm not going to like this. So, although I, d- I do love Chris, Pro- Chris Pine, and I do love... Um, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot, so... Gadot, I think that's how she she pronounces Gadot. Gadot? Yeah. Okay. She did it on, on YouTube once. Every time we do, every time this comes up, someone will eventually link me to the YouTube video yeah. of her saying her name over and Gadot. over and over. Yeah. Gadot, Gadot, Gadot. Pretty sure it's that. Okay. Well, I can't help you on that one, gal. I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping it's the good. The reviews too. like it. Yeah. I was worried. I'm always worried with DC okay. films. I heard that they're liking it. At what level are they liking it? I refuse it? to read it. Okay. I don't I don't want to be I don't want expectations played with. I talked to a friend of mine who's seen the movie. Okay. Her impressions made me go, ooh. Oh, really? And that, but then, then, then all these things came out, and I'm like, I don't know who to believe or what to believe. Different strokes. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. Whatever what happened to predictability? Different, different strokes. <laughs> no! Different strokes. No, Andy! You're, you're taking everything and destroying it. I don't know why. Uh, people are talking. Uh, I'm going to toss in this Wario 64 thing for you. Kevin. On it. Uh, I'm gonna drop it below the giveaway. There you go. A Wario 64 has put up Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle key art leaked. And here we go, Andy. Your first look at this fucking goddamn just, thing. This fucking dumpster fire. You got the Sam, like the Samus arm. Well, yeah, but it, you know, maybe that's a Rabbids arm. I'm not. I'm not versed well enough Look at well that. Look at that thick. Look at that little thick rabbit in the front. Mm. Which one, the Luigi or the Peach? The Peach one. Oh, okay. Thick with two C's. No bottom. No bottoms for her. No Hell bottoms yeah. for her. Easy uh, access, you know what I'm saying, Greg? Yeah, Jesus God, Andy. <laughs> I expect that from Nick, not from you. <laughs> oh my God, never. I would never expect that from you. Uh, so this is what's happening. I mean, do you, okay. I forget, is, do, this one hasn't been confirmed, right? This is the key art leaked. Have we heard about the game before? Yeah. We have? Did they confirm well, no, no, it's no, no, like no. Mario RPG? No, it's a rumor. Okay, okay. It, yeah, right? I, I think it is rumored that it's going to be like a Paper Mario sort of Mario Yeah, that's RPG. what I, okay, yeah. I didn't know if we'd heard anything official, yeah. official. Oh, God, I don't, I don't know what to do with this information here, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, little, I'm opening up Nintendo it. Wire here. 
They've got a Although, story. look at how athletic Luigi looks. Fuck yeah. He looks like fucking, like, he's doing a little Vin Diesel wall jump there. So, a la The Rock, you know what I'm saying? Sure. What course. does he have in his hand? He have a little ray gun? Yeah, maybe. Sort of a little gun. Mm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Everyone's hung up on the peach, though, like you. Or the rabbit peach, like you. So thick. So thick. Mm. Also, here, That's hold what on. I like. Here we go. There was the Kotaku reported three weeks ago. God. Hold on. It's that thing where Kotaku reported, then they're linking to their story. Here we go. Jason Schreier, back on May 2nd. The rumored Mario Cross Ra Rabbids RPG is real coming to Switch. One of the fall's big Nintendo Switch games will be Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, a game that has been rumored for quite some time and does indeed exist as confirmed by art assets provided to Kotaku. The game will mix Nintendo's iconic plumber and friends with characters from Ubisoft's popular Rabbids series. Although the person who sent the assets asked us not to share them, they corroborate the existence of a bizarre crossover RPG that's currently scheduled to come to Switch either August or September. Ubisoft is developing Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle on the publisher's proprietary Snowdrop engine, according to the assets we've seen. The game's selling points appear to be A, turn-based combat, B, two-player local co-op, and C, a goofy sense of humor. No! <laughs> Whoa! The art, we've been, the art we've seen features Mario and crew wielding guns that shoot laser beams. The game will apparently have eight playable characters, Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Peach, and bizarrely, four rabbits dressed up as Mario, Luigi, <laughs> Yoshi, and Peach. The existence of the Mar Mario and Rabbids crossover was first reported by Laura Kate Dale, who became infamous over the past year for ruining or running various rumors about the Nintendo Switch, including some of the correct. Blah, blah, blah. So there you go. That's the deal. It is an RPG. I don't want to hate on it, but I, I really hate the Rabbids. If I can be, if I can just be honest, the Rabbids suck. Sure. If we can make a definitive stance, do you like Rabbids? I liked them on the first go around, whatever okay. fucking game that was. Yeah. And then again, like they the. The typical comparison you make is that they are very reminiscent of Minions. Mm -hmm. But they, they predate Minions, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, but will I play this? Probably not. Maybe if I get a code, I'll play it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll start begging Ubisoft right now. Yeah. Or Nintendo. I don't know how to say that. I guess it'll be a Ubisoft thing. It's nice to see Nintendo giving yeah. Ubisoft the assets for Mario, though. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. Here you go. Fuck around with this. Do something. But Now, is Charles Martinet still doing the voice? Of course he is. Mario. He's going to do it until he's no longer with us. Okay. I, you can't change it now. You know what I mean? You can't change Does it. Does he now. do Luigi as well? I think I do. Mario. Mario. That's pretty good. Thank you. That's pretty good. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. That's Yoshi, wasn't it? That's Mario. Oh. You know when he, like, when he burns his butt on fire. Oh, okay. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Is Charles Martin doing the voices for the rabbits? If so, I'm in. I just dislike everything about the rabbits. Put him back up here, Kevin. I just dislike everything about these rabbits. I don't, I don't like their fucking teeth. Me over. I don't like the fact that like one's so vain with the selfie. You're in a battle right now. They are all shooting and fighting. Get your stuff. shit together, Rabbit Peach. Rabbit Peach is just shooting shit. Look how intense Yoshi looks. Man, yeah. Yoshi's out for blood. Yoshi's out for blood, but I love again. I keep my eye keeps drawing back to Luigi, and like he's fucking chasing ah. after a perp who just like. Stole a woman's purse, maybe. Sure, sure. And he's gonna just run. He's running after him, like in. Can you see him, like in alleys, running down sure. alleys, yeah, yeah, like jumping over fences and climbing ladders, and yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, look yeah. at him. He looks so fucking cool. Luigi's a cool dude. He's a great guy. Cool guy. We need to get the Luigi mansions on the Switch now. Oh, you know what I mean? Mm. Luigi Look at that man. hammer in the background. Oh yeah, it's, it's a hammer there. Bed with a like a big ass hammer. Every frame a story. That's true. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. This is definitely one of those. We should rewind theater this. A game is, yep. And just talk about the fact that the flowers are tennis balls, which is weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Whoa. Now, in the chat, Dark Angel 1010 says, Come on, Greg, look at that thick rabbit peach. Thick. I don't yeah, know if I can. can. She can get it, man. I don't know if I can. I mean, it is. But look at her sly eyes. Like, she has a story that sure. she's hiding from you. Sure. And it's up to you. To get it out and get in it. It is more traditional, gender biased bullshit in the video game industry that if you notice, all of the male rabbits genitalia are covered. Peach rabbit, all out there for everybody to see. Hundred uh, percent. To be fair, all the rabbits in this picture might be males. How do they reproduce? Oh, Have they you ever heard they fuck like rabbits? It's like Asari's. Like rabbits. They're like the Asari in, in Mass Effect. Do they mind meld? 
Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, I get what you mean though. Yoshi Rabbit is in the back fully covered. Yeah. So Mario Rabbit's got the overalls on. Yeah. Luigi, Luigi Rabbit got a giant long thing on. Luigi's got... Is that the fucking... Why is he wearing... Does he have the Virgin Killer sweater on? No. 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 It'd be awesome We can't see did. him from the back though. Well, you, I think what you're... The you're there is a the white arms. thing there. There is a white cusp on his back. But yeah, I don't but think like, it's the Virgin Killer sweater. Can somebody Photoshop a picture of this rabbit with a Virgin Killer sweater on? Sure. But yeah, I do get what you see. Like her vagina is just totally out there. Right, right. Peach rabbit. Right. Just more like that's what I'm saying. Or rabbit dick. Or maybe it's a maybe it's a guy just pretending to be Peach. Which sure. is very much what it could be. Then no, no matter what, there is an exposed butthole here. Can we agree? Can we agree on the exposed butthole? Yeah, she's just tempting all of them. Nobody looks into it though. Nobody does. Nobody, nobody except kind of funny is brave enough to challenge the gender politics. Also, of. that might be why she's doing a selfie, because like they're all like advancing and she's oh, like, she's oh, she's dude. sexting someone right now. Oh, oh shit! Well, now now that changes. Now I'm now I'm on her side. Good yeah. for her. I'm going into battle, honey. I might die. Last thing to remember yeah. me by. Let Pop. me sh let me show you a titty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Now I feel a bit different about it. Now I've come around at Peach Rabbit. Checking in on the tips. Come, or come on, Peach Rabbit. Come around on it. Come on. In. Come on, feel the noise. Girls, rock your boys. We're getting wild, wild, wild. Wild, wild, wild. We gotta think about it. <laughs> Adam Kelly gave a tip and said, Wish me luck tonight and tomorrow, boys. Good Have luck. A colonoscopy. Should oh. be a shitty old time. Oh. <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. Thank you for all the hard work you guys do. Please give my awesome girlfriend Stormy a shout out. Kevin, give Stormy. Andy the one. Andy, give Stormy a shout out. Hey, Stormy. How you doing? Hey. Heard your boyfriend's going to get a colonos colonoscopy. Uh, maybe you just got to treat that butthole real nice tonight. Oh, you don't want to go in there after this. Love you, Stormy. I just flirted with his girlfriend. Is that nice. bad? Well, I mean, I mean, if he dies during this colonoscopy, you're you got to you got to leg up in the competition. I'm in. Cause your butthole's good, right? I've got a great butthole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Supple. Supple. Andrew Dixon gave a tip and said, "Hey guys, thoughts to people in the UK affected by the bombing in Manchester. Love the last episode of PSI Love You XOXO. A very good end. Also bongos. And then he gave us this video that it's I don't just, seem to recall. It's just him watching the extra life, and we could show it. Sure." I don't remember this moment. Maybe we should recreate this about moment. It was part of the deal for the kids, the, the big beautiful kids. God, it's he fucked up. People stop like this. It. He wants to warn because you hate it so much. Yeah. If you leaned into it, nobody would care. Look, Colin is still playing Mega Man. Yeah, still crushing it. <laughs> I'm afraid of the guys with the drums. Oh Lord, a percussion. I'll be thy name. Let's make this a good one. Okay, peace. That's enough of that. Ah! Oh, you fucking bongo <laughs> cock tease. You son of a bitch. Oh, man. T, T Joe B123 says, here's part of Kevin's pre-birthday tax. You should hashtag let the minority reporters host on Friday to celebrate. Greg, do you think Nintendo will have the balls to bring back Elite Beat agents one day? First off, I like that idea. What about Wonderful 101? My, no, they won't have the balls for that for sure. No, okay. No. That, that would suck, because that game was good. I thought, it was a, I thought it was a fine game. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, I think Elite Beat Agency yeah, will come back one day in some form. When they get the eShop up and running on the Switch, and you just get to fuck around on there. That's a good point. I think it'll be good and, you'll be mm. good and set in there. Like, there'll be a, because now that there's, a, there's an audience there, you're going to have this install base, all these kids coming back to Nintendo, like me, that you know didn't play too much of the Wii U, didn't play too much 3DS. Yeah. Here you go. Here. I think it's a good idea for people to, like, for you to put your games on Switch so I can play them. Exactly. That's a great point. Mm -hmm. That is a great point. Yeah, people like to play games that are when they can play them. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, hundred okay. percent. Okay. Good. Good. Adrian gave us a very healthy tip. Thank you, and said, "Fun fact: Kind of Funny Morning Show is on prime time in London. Weird. Sorry, I can't make Kind of Funny Live three this year. Where are we doing the KF slash Amazon E three breakfast this year? You guys pick. I'll make reservations. So this is Mr. Amazon, Adrian. Adrian. Oh, okay. Didn't realize. Adrian. He was in London right now. Congratulations." Fucking sucks you're not coming to Kind of Funny Live 3. Where do we want to do breakfast, though, for E3? Because we meet with them every E3. Denny's? I like that pantry place. Yeah, that place. But it's going to be crowded. Last year we did a hotel breakfast somewhere. I'll go back to Adrian. Well, would you want to make breakfast for all of us? 
in our creepy oh, ass uh, murder yeah, vampire apartment. Oh, I don't man. know if it has a kitchen. <laughs> There's, yeah. What if it the, has a kitchen, sure. What if the kitchen's like in like the restroom or something like that? Awesome. I bet that's what it is. Yeah, I can't wait to show you guys the E3 place we booked. Oh, it's yeah. going to be fucking awesome. Some really creepy, sad, crazy game cast coming out of that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Spittle. Jens Anderson gave a tip and said, Greg, how the fuck can you bitch about PC driver maintenance yet you're willing to take a screwdriver to the guts of your PS4 to make it work? Laughing my ass off. All gaming platforms kick ass IMO. Because uh, it's just like you nerds with your PCs. Oh, it's so much fun putting fucking it together nerds, and doing yeah. this fucking thing. And I'm Greg, you have on. a defective unit now. Yeah, I just get in there, I twist one screw. I'm like, well, I did something. I'm a man. I'm a real man. And Jen's like all hot and bothered. She's like, oh, je m'appelle handyman. Je m'appelle, what is it? That's, that's my name is, but... Wait, what? What's your name? Je m'appelle. Tu t'appelles. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Say tu t'appelles. Tu t'appelles. Your name. Je m'appelle. Moan Haney Man, I think. Is that Greg Miller? No, no, no. Oh, it's just Greg. Yeah, Gregory. Yeah, exactly. Je m'appelle. Interesting story. Uh, um... When I entered at Sony, Spittle was working there. He still is, right? Or now it's like Daybreak? Or yeah, exactly. What's... He was at SOE, and then he now yeah. it's Daybreak, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I... you interned at SOE. Yeah. Didn't you, did you, I forget, did you do something? Yeah, I, well, I, I I made the Christmas sleigh. In, For DC uh, Universe Online. In DC Universe Online. But the, the more interesting thing was, I forgot my key to walk in there uh, one time, and, uh, and he was there in the elevator, and I was like, Hey Jens, I'm Andy. Nice to meet you. You know, just yeah. just a young kid, just wanting to get in. Plucky, couldn't you didn't even have the beard yet. Yeah, totally. Like a lot skinnier, um, a lot more vibrant, mm-hmm. a lot more mm-hmm. athletic. Frankly, uh, okay, okay. Just blown by defenders on the basketball court. Oh, okay. now I have to like I had to change my game to more of an outside shooting game. Sure, of course. Um, and when I met Jens, um, I remember seeing you all interact on Twitter. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I didn't know you at the time. Um, I was just a, a Beyond fan at the time. And I was like, hey, um, so you know Greg Miller? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. B- b- uh, we know each other from whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, interesting. Uh, I listen to their podcast all the time. And he's like, oh, cool. And then now I'm here. Wait, so where did you forget your key come into play? You were going back for your keys? Is that what happened? Um, he told me that like that was going to be vital information to the story. I thought we were going to get up there, and then you were going to go like, oh. And I was going to stab him it, with the key. <laughs> no, and you guys going to be like, hey, you don't even work here. You're just, you're just trying to sneak in. Oh, it was the key card, and I couldn't get in unless, I think I left my key at home. Okay. And it was like my second day interning, and I was like, oh, man, this looks bad. Like I'm, Yeah. I left my key at home, and I'm like the new guy or whatever. Uh, and then... I was just like waiting by the elevator, elevator for someone to come through, and it's the ends, and he's like, "Do you need to go up?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> kind of waddled in there. Yeah. Final tip for right now comes from Lakers Head Two Four Three Two. Andy, can you sing "Como la Flor"? Como la flor, tanto amor, me diste tú, se marinó, se marinó y no se perder. If you didn't know. Ay, como me duele. Okay, go ahead. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Kind of Funny Morning Show each and every weekday here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames. We come to you with the nerdy news you need to know about before jumping to the chat to answer your questions, comments, and concerns. But in between those two segments, I reach into the internet, grab a video game, and toss it to one of you. How do you win? It's simple. Be in the chat like so many of you are right now on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames or... If you're watching later on youtube.com slash kindoffunny or po- listening on podcast services around the globe, you can win three ways and never have to be here. Or if you're live, you can get three other ways to win and fight your chances. Number one, you can subscribe to us here on Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime, and you have a free subscription to give away each and every month, we'd like it. Uh, you also get the kind of funny logo next to your name, the cool emotes, private chat time with us. You get the show ad free unless we bake them in. We're not doing it. Uh, like, I felt like I left something out there. I went faster than usual. Fuck it. Uh, you can also go to patreon.com slash kindoffunny or patreon.com slash kindoffunny. Give us your support at the $2 level or more. You get automatically entered to win a game. Today, we're giving away City Skylines on the Xbox One. It is going to a Twitch sub by the name of The Awkward Dragon 9. Congratulations. Awkward Dragon 9. Awkward Dragon 9. Um, so some guy who is I, I lost the comment. Um, it said, um, "Oh, here we go." From Brettless, I believe is when I was singing Selena. Sure. 
all of a sudden, I feel like I'm 10 years old on a Saturday and I hear my mom vacuuming. <laughs> man, <laughs> that is so fucking accurate. Yeah. Hell yeah. But Selena, man. Selena. She was the thing. Rest in peace, man. She took over, yeah. She was great. Were you live when she, when she died? Yolanda Saldivar, that fucking bitch. Fan club. Fucking like bitch. He, yeah, yeah. I think Joey Noel's gonna take us down one day. No. Really? Uh, no. Oh. No, no, no. I hope not. No. Probably Martin Freeman. No! Mark. I know, but it's funny. He gets all mad when I say. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I blanked on whatever podcast I did that on last, and he was all like, "How do you not remember?" <laughs> um. So that's done. Uh, we got one more tip, and we'll call it then. Uh, Trent two nine one nine three. Watch the final episode of PS I Love You XOXO before the morning show. Can't wait to see what you've got cooking, Greg. Thanks for all you guys do. Thank you for caring. I'm very excited for Kind of Funny Live three to talk about. What comes next for I'm some of the so shows? I'm so excited. We have a lot of cool shit for kind of fun. I'm really stoked. Man. Yeah, like, call on tips, brother. Tips are called. You're really again, stoked. I, I think I talked about this in uh, in one of the Reddit threads, where speaking as Andy the fan, like who still listens to the content, um, even if I weren't working, I'd be so stoked about what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about it. Good. Yeah, it's well, going to be it's really gonna be a lot cool. of fun. I think it's going to be a really really good one. Uh, let's do the Patton and Moriarty three and three in the chat here. Uh... Trevor Trove says, if anybody's murdering you guys, it's probably Zyger. No, he couldn't do it. Uh, Juggler says, Greg, what childhood belief depressed you the most when you found out it wasn't true? It's a good question. It's a great question. Yeah, I don't know, though. I don't think I have, like, a definitive, there's no Santa moment, uh, you know what I mean? I never had that either. I feel like you wake up to the fact that. I was always kind of, like, hesitant to believe that shit anyway. Yeah. Um, man. I guess the moment, I don't know when it was, but the moment that you kind of realize, I, I'm, I don't have special powers. Mm. You always see these movies and these cartoons of like these superheroes, kind of the origin stories sure. and stuff. And I always just like, I would, I remember like just sitting in my kitchen and like trying to make stuff move with my mind. Yeah, it never oh, worked. Yeah. No, that's Spoiler the alert, it never worked, guys. Whoa, but don't, the, don't the, give up on that dream. But yet, those man. moments are just me like just sitting there and just like. So you're saying you don't do that now? You never just. In your car, every for a light, I mean, and you're just like, all right, this is it, dude. I fucking, I can feel it today. I can like feel you it think, right now. Like, are you talking about the moment from, um, from um, that movie that fucking Max Landis wrote uh, when he makes the car move with oh, his hand? Oh, Chronicle. Chronicle? Oh. Uh, you talking about those yeah. moments? Like yeah. when you're frustrated in traffic and yeah. you just want to move a car? Yep, definitely. I'm, I mean, you got to work up to that, though, Kevin. I do you that can't all the time. just. You can't just start off. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen big. You can't start off with a I vehicle. Like. You need to go with a cup or something. Nah, you're sending it too My go. fear is I'm always going to try and then do it once. And only once? Like, I'll be there and, and nobody's going to be around? does it, and I'll be like, what did I, how did I, no, and I don't even care if somebody sees it. Oh. It's just like, what, I, I, it would, that would be like the worst kind of torture for the rest of your life. Oh. Like, I did it once, what did I do? Like, Damn. it's kind of like, I never thought about it, but, or because it didn't, it didn't matter to this movie. But in Spider-Man, the original... When or the the Tobey Maguire first Spider Man movie, mm -hmm. when uh, he does that and makes web for the first time, and then he's like, wait, and then he has to, he's like, dude, fly web and all that stuff. Like that was funny because it was like, oh man, yeah, like what? That's kind of the nightmare. Yeah. Of like, fuck, he knew he did it, but how did he do it exactly? I had the special thing. How do I reproduce this? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like the one time I got an erection, and trying to figure out how to get it back ever since. See, there you go. You trying to move it? Is anything gonna move? Ah, oh, it's happening! <laughs> oh. Did you see that? Great job. Pretty crazy. Weirdo. Uh, oh, you couldn't even see the the water was being hit in. See, because I hit the table and the water moved, guys. Didn't see it. Spittle says, Andy, we need to work on a better story for you to share about me. Let's have Greg concoct a trial we can endure and bond over. Okay. I'll fucking put Sounds you both good. to live a nightmare. Don't worry about Sounds that. Sounds good. Tell uh, Ben Nauman I said hi if he's still there. That's always a worry. Well, he's in, now Jens is in San Diego. Oh. Yeah, yeah. oh. He's, a, he's a big, he's a big timer now. He's a big, 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 big boy over there. Mm -hmm. At daybreak. Ben now. I mean, he's, he, I don't mean he's fat. I mean, he's got like a lot of responsibility. Mm, okay. Interesting. Uh, Streven says, so Minority Report is go on Friday? I don't know, Kevin, do you want to host for your birthday? I mean, not really. Kevin, I'm down. We just want to make you happy. Yeah, but what is what it so you, hard? Andy, what the hell? I wish you? I could fit this whole cup in my mouth. Don't do that. Oh, I'm going to cramp. Cramp. You got a neck cramp? Yeah. You ever get those? Is, is it your tongue or your neck? My neck. Like right here. You ever get those? Like where your tongue's attached to it? My neck. Okay. No, I never get that. I never you get, never I get never those? Get, I, never you get, never... I, get the, I get them here from smiling too much. I get them whenever I, when I'm in this position, and yeah. if I yawn, 
Uh, okay. And yeah, do that, yeah, and yeah, it yeah. contracts, yeah, yeah. and I have to like stretch it up. Like sure. That. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's all right. That's okay. I understand what you're doing there. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Hugh six three three eight says, "Can't wait to see you in two months, Greg, at RTX again. I want to catch you outside again, like I did two years ago, and do a walking selfie." Well, I'd prefer you just came to whatever panels we're doing. That'd yeah. probably be a better way. Support me there. Uh, White Feather eighty seven says, "I'm gonna start reading Invincible. Good. I'm glad it only took." Ten years of knowing me and me telling you to read it to read it. Also, the read. movie coming out and uh, yeah, you know, okay, good. in the end of the whole thing, maybe yeah. it would have gone on longer if you would have done it. You know, mm-hmm. Lakers had 20, 40, 30, 20, 40, 32. <laughs> Andy, I challenge you to basketball one on one here in L.A. Let's go, dog. Uh, ask Sean Pitts what happened to him on the basketball court. You, you know what I'm saying? Destroy him. Just, I mean, it wasn't a destroy. You know, you dunked on him. We were both very rusty, but I dunked on him several times. Nice. We moved the rim up to fourteen feet. Wow. Because I like Rock that. I like the extra challenge. Yeah, yeah the four yeah. pointer yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's that's how you get good. Mm-hmm. You gotta do that. Uh, I just got a text from Tim saying, "What's the food plan?" Ooh. Tim doesn't come to work, and he wants to eat with us now. Yeah, dude. I'm, but I'm asking you, so you can get over this, and let's figure out a food plan if you want it. I'm fucking starving. Yeah. Andy, what's your favorite band? Asks Robert Ramirez, ninety-two. Uh, it's between Coheed and Cambria, Rush, and Gatsby's American Dream. God, I just want to take a bite out of that, you know what I'm saying? i tell you what, man. I could knock it down with Coheed. And I think it's... They're a weird band. It started because the introduction was Rock Band. where they That's where I hear them, and like their songs were super tough, and I was a singer, too, and I was like, oh. Mm, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they have a high range. Yeah, yeah Claudio's yeah. a... Uh, that's, but then I, I met Claudio, great dude. I think that's when I got into Up at Noon. Is when he was on? Is when he was on oh, with you, yeah. Um... Yeah, I think that was, that moment was like super cool. I remember sending that to all my friends. Like, yeah. no, you know what? It wasn't because I had already been listening to Beyond. But I was like, hey, look, the guy listens to the podcast. He's talking to Claudio, and all of us are like huge fans of Coheed. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're a weird band. They they they're either like a three minute fucking pop punk song, yeah, super catchy single, or like a nine minute epic song that spans like four five different music genres. Okay. Yeah, they're weird. You want Thai food? How do you feel about Thai food? No. I mean, I would like something else. Okay. What about Japanese food? You sure. Some sushi? Sure. Sushi, I'd be all over. What about that movie theater place? Sure. Yeah? Is that close? That's far away for Tim, isn't it? No. I mean, that's, that's like a 10-minute drive. Less than that. Okay. Didn't their bass player try to knock... Okay, so the Cody and Cambria bassist, uh, he was very into drugs at the time. He held up a, a store asking for drugs, asking for pills... I believe with like a Snickers, and he pretended that it was a gun in his pocket. Yeah, yeah. Um, and none of the band knew about it. And they all got back in the bus, and the police were coming in. They're like, "Hey, can we search your bus?" And they're like, uh, "Yeah, go ahead." And they're like, "And we didn't realize that he was searching for our base, <laughs> our basis." Like, wow. Yeah, pretty intense. They, they get away with it? No, he got arrested. Oh, they, no. He's not in the band anymore. Oh, yeah, that's probably a quick way to get out. Rest of in it. peace, Mike Todd. He's not dead, I don't think. But rest oh, in peace. Jesus Christ, okay, Mike Todd. Right. Should he come swoop us all? Yeah, sure. If you can fit us all. Yeah. Um, uh, Black can. Demon, 47. Greg, I have been thinking of, will PlayStation revive the Resistance franchise? Never say never, Ooh. but it won't be anytime soon. And, I, and I, I, if they did, it would be way down the line. And I really don't think they would. Now, which was the good Resistance game? Because Depends who you talk to. At the, at the time, I did not own a PlayStation 3. I got a PlayStation 3 for the exclusives for the Naughty Dog games, sure. right? Um, so resistance has fucking no significance in my life. Yeah. Um, but I always hear that one of them is actually. I always. I, I always liked retribution, the PSP game. The conversations always go a little bit like this. Yeah. Resistance sucks. Actually, dude, you should, the one this one resistance three was game, the best. Okay, like that's the one. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Three okay. was the best because it was the most simplified in it. But even then, I don't think it was amazing. Like uh-huh. the story was good. And it came together kind of quick. Mm. The gunplay is fine. So. Did Colin love that game? Colin loves resistance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the sub only. Sub. Danny Blanco Blanco says, "Where is Tim? Tim is working on kind of funny live stuff because we need to get kind of funny live done. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be some good stuff." Oh, also, I'm listening. Or you think I need to buy some stuff for it. bargain information? Yeah. We all need to buy some stuff for him. What do you gotta buy? Um, I can't let you know that right now, Kevin. I'm sorry. Like me personally, or like the stream? For the sh- no, it's for KFL three. No, I know, but you can't let me know. You can't let the stream. I can't let the stream know. Barry Bumperoid says, "Greg, can we expect any kind of funny to the UK announcements anytime soon?" 
No, he can't. Heads down and kind of funny, live. Then he threes the next fucking week, which is a stupid move. Then it's VidCon. Then it's RTX. I'm forgetting one in there. There's another thing in there. Doesn't matter. But no, I, 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 I want to come to the UK. We all want to come to the UK. When we know, you'll know. Luker8125 says, Greg, on this, the final PSI Love You XOXO air date, what is your favorite Beyond slash PSI Love You XOXO memory? My favorite moment was the Beyond when PSN went live after the outage and you talked to someone's girlfriend and she she <laughs> graced the term, oh, ah! Yeah, that's everyone's favorite memory, I think, most of the time. Uh, I talk about it on the show with Dunham. Uh, I mean, there's a million. It's hard. It's so hard to pick. Obviously, all the live shows we do, whether it was a Beyond or a panel at PSX or whatever, this last one was like the most professional PSX panel. The Denver PS I Love UXO was great. Um, every one of the live ones do. Mizzou is always calling me, asking me for money now. Like, I give you enough. Don't worry about it. You yeah. Know? Um, what else? What else? What else? Those are the big ones. I mean, the, the, coming back live, uh, that was a great one, of course. Undertaker punching through the wall, and that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waterman. What's not to love? Um, Ryan Santilli asks, also, I miss you, Ryan. Uh, Andy, with Monty Ginobili surely to retire, where does that put you in the Spurs rotation? Um, now, this is a tough question to me because I'm just going to be on the D League for the Austin Spurs, the developmental league. I'm just, I just, I'm waiting for my call. Is what it, is what's happening right now, and I'm going to keep working and keep grinding and, and hope that I get that call. And if Popovich sees something in me that is worthy of being on the roster, then I have no problem, you know, uh, taking my talents to San Antonio, um, and I'll have to. Well, maybe I can like kind of do design work on the side in San Antonio while I'm playing for the Spurs. Sure. Maybe yeah. while I'm on the bench, I can work on some stuff. Of um, course, yeah. We can figure it out. But uh, yeah, that, that's where I am right now. The Dead Man 97, are you guys going to see Baywatch? Fuck yes, I'm going to see Baywatch. I heard it was bad. No, it's, okay, it's. No, 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 no. Gra gra bad grandpa is bad. Or I heard it was not funny. Like, that uh, I saw John Leguizamo tweet that it was funny last night. John Leguizamo was funny as fuck. He is the arbiter of. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm going to Rotten Tomatoes. I don't believe you. I refuse to believe this. Baywatch, oh, God, no. Yeah, dude. An 11% like, for Baywatch. Yeah, dude. So, like, 21 Jump Street Whoa, is funny. Bad Grandpa has a bad... I'm looking... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Bad Grandpa. What's the... What's the... Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Dirty Grandpa. Dirty Grandpa. Which is fucking hilarious. Dirty Grandpa has... Uh, an 11% as well! Oh, my God. Okay, yeah! Last one. What's the... Central Intelligence. That's it. That's yep. it. You got it. God, you're so... Rude. I want to fuck you so bad. Whoa. Ooh, you, you, you get Can it. I watch you? Sure, yeah. All right. Kind of funny live three. Someone's got to hold the camera, right? Oh, well, Central Intelligence has a 69%. All right, there you go. Here's the thing, though. It's not going to be hard to get Nick Scarpino to go see this movie. You know what I mean? And there we go. We got a, we got a crew. Because it's this weekend, isn't it? Is it? Pretty sure it's this weekend. Yeah. Oh. We can buy our tickets now. Let's see. Uh-huh. Kevin, one day you want to see Baywatch. What's Thursday look like for us? No, wait. Fuck, do we have plans Thursday? Or Wednesday? Fuck. Thursday is a packed day of, of work to do. So it's like Wednesday. Um, All the days are. Oh, wait. Well, we can't see it Wednesday, can we? Night? Is it out Wednesday? Oh, no. I see your question. Yeah. Yes, no. Thursday is the first day we could see it. Uh, we were talking about shooting stuff here on Saturday. We could always yeah. finish that. Oh, and afterwards. Go. I love that idea. Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. See, a, see an early show at Alma Draft House. Just making sure he wasn't going to yell at me about that because he hates the Elmo Draft House. Why? Wait, oh, no, it's too late. I said it. You, the, the time to bitch about it left. Yeah. I bought the tickets. No, you didn't. No. Why do we have to watch an Elmo? Because beers. We're going to have great beers so while we watch a shitty alcoholic? fucking I can, comedy. I can sneak in some alcohol for you. Mm. You can be drinking beers. No problem. They'll be a little warm. Ugh. You know? Because I had to sneak them in in places. Gross. Zyger says PSA Twitch is having a weird emote issue. Your emotes are not locked; they just appear to be. Give it a day or so, Twitch to, for Twitch to fix its shit. And then final question for today: Juggler says, Greg, what's your level of fear about getting sick before E3 and kind of funny live three? Uh, zero. I mean, I don't want to, but I've worked through it before. I can work through you're it. You're tough through it. You're tough. And, and kind of funny live is that thing where like I tried it. You're like we're doing the heel kick uh, screening the Friday before at midnight. Mm -hmm. from, you know what I mean? Friday at eleven fifty-five p.m. For heel kick, uh, the Clay Theater, you should come out. But so like that movie's gonna be done at like two in the morning. Then they're gonna do Q and A probably. 
Then I'm going to go home and pass out, and then I'm going to wake up and do rehearsals. But I'm not worried, because when you get to Kind of Funny Life 3, the adrenaline of that fucking thing keeps you going. Juice. But the little, you got to be careful, because little sleep is, like, directly linked to getting sick. Well, I don't care if I get sick after Kind of Funny Life 3. If uh -oh. I'm sick going into E3, E3, this is, honestly, this is going to sound weird. Going to be one of the easiest E3s I've probably ever done. Mm -hmm. Pre and post show for every conference, okay, cool. Awesome. But we're including, I mean, that's normal workload. But then we're including Nintendo as a pre and post show, which means that's Tuesday morning. So we're going to fly down to LA Tuesday afterwards, after we do like trailer reacts and breakdowns like that. You said Tuesday weird. Tuesday. Like that? No, you, you put the enunciation on the day. Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, you said it like that. It like Very that. weird. Tuesday. I don't, I, like it. I don't like it. Also, some, uh, I've seen a few people pointing out that I say both with an L. Both. Both? Yeah. yeah. Both. Well, so both. a lot of people from back home say both with an F. Huh. Right. Both. B -O -F. Anyways, we fly into E3 on Tuesday. We'll get there in the afternoon, check in at the Airbnb. Maybe the show floor's got like an hour or two left. We're going to go over there, get our badges, bum around for a second. Cool. See people. We have uh, appointments that night. Then Wednesday, we're doing our thing, which I don't think we're ready to announce yet. And then Thursday, we do more of our thing, put a shit up on YouTube, all that crap. It's going to be It's gonna be fun. It's going to be a good one. Uh, Lakers head 2432 says, fly Andy to LA so I can beat him in basketball. Oh, do you accept the E3 challenge of basketball? Do it. I haven't booked our E3 flights. I'll gladly fly out later on Friday if you want to go play the kid. Lakers head. I mean, I guess so. All right, we got to find a basketball court close to E3 or our haunted apartment. It's or a like a 24-hour fitness with... Cause I have a yeah, but are they gonna be cool with us bringing in cameras and me fucking screaming and coaching you and shit? Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's a big problem. That's a good point. Uh, Lakers head. Do you know Lakers head? No. Okay, Lakers head. I'm gonna message you. You message me back. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the kind of funny morning show. Each and every week, to hear on Twitch.tv slash kind of funny games, we come to you with the nerdy news you need to know about. Then we jump in the chat, answer questions, comments, concerns, give away a video game, beg you to subscribe and do shit. I won't do it right now. Um, thank you for joining us, putting up with it. Thank you for, of course, all of your help planning this week's content. Remember, it's pretty clean, easy to see here. Gog is going to be filmed today with Jared Petty with, uh, and... Walter White? No, no, that's Jared Petty and Danny O'Dwyer. And then Thursday, we're going to film the Kind of Funny Games cast with Adam Sessler and Nikki Rotten. So, is that, of, oh, did, did Nick agree to any of this? Oh, no, yeah. Oh, okay. He's, okay. he's been, he's been oh, okay, texting okay. it up. Okay. So that's, we got a whole bunch of shows here planned. Now we're going to go eat some food. What are we eating? We just, just, uh, Sushi. Sushi. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. It's been, it's been a como la flor, nan tu amor. Point. Come sorry, back, I forgot sorry. to do subs. Good call. Come back, come back. Thanks for keeping us honest. Thanks for keeping us honest, Kev. Oh, no. It's, oh. Vile more. And I'm gonna take you away. Sorry, so here's everybody who subbed and resubbed. Thank you. We love and appreciate you. Sorry, I forgot. Been a crazy show with people leaving, booking guests. I don't know what's going on. Wingfan191 says, eight months subbing, making the workdays fly by. Uh, Ill Rising C says, any cheap hotel room recommendations for the next venue? Any cheap hotel recommendations next to the venue for Kind of Funny Live 3? Go to the forums, go to the Facebook groups. They have stuff, they have that information up there. Robin Fear says, keep up the good work. We will. Uh, TG Burt, uh, inject my blood vial. Ugh. It, he says, I. Mr. Clank, he says, join the conversation with Colin over at R, Colin's last name. Of course. Uh, which ginger guy says, hey guys, hope all is well across the pond. Is this the year you guys come over to the UK? Hopefully, but no news on it. The Awkward Dragon 9 says, can I get some love for my northern best friends in Manchester? Of course you can. Again, we're thinking of you guys. Purple. 42. Sup, boys. Good vibes. Much love. Nick, please hit me with a butthole. Andy, I'm going to have to have you carry that one. That's fine. Butthole. Maximum Cortez, subscribe for 29 months in a row, and cool, says, awesome. hey guys, take my priming money from the Amazon <laughs> big fans from Texas PlayStation is life. Huh, interesting. Nice guy. Fog of War says, if Nick takes a dump and nobody is around to see it, did he really take a dump? Gross. Yep. Yep. Don't Ange 11, King James 2357, uh, Akilas 8, five months, let's celebrate with this funny clip. Kevin, looking at that funny clip. I, I don't have access to that, you have to copy and paste. Mm, mm, Don't leave funny mm. clips on uh, subscriber messaging, guys. I'm right now. Oh, I've got a hunger in my belly, Greg. Let me tell you, man. Um, it could be funny, Kevin. I'm gonna put it in. Okay. I'm putting it below. Uh, I see it, I see okay, it. okay. And then I'll keep going. My love. Oh my God! It's so loud.
Well, you just let it play. It's 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 nine seconds long. Just put it up. Give me a second. Dirty Sorry. Dancing reenactment going wrong. Oh, he kicked the baby. That kid is a toddler, and he didn't get kicked that, or she didn't get kicked that hard. And she shouldn't be at a fucking drinking fucking party. That's what I say. You know what I mean? Drinking if it's a drinking fucking, fucking party, don't bring your toddler. That's that was clearly a drinking fucking party. Hold on, let me just. I, I need Look at to it. She doesn't get hit in the head. She gets hit in the shoulder. Oh, that's a good check, though. Okay, I'll give so, you that. Sometimes they. No, never mind. Did you, did you ever see the uh, New, Zeal New Zealand uh, don't drink? And yeah, hold on, hold on, taking a break. New. Take Zealand. a break. Uh, Andy, keep reading the. Whatever happened nope. to all those go. different shows? Here we go. Don't look. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna put it in as a, this okay. is my my contribution to the funny clips. Oh, okay. Funny right. clips. They're called. If funny I don't laugh, Greg. Oh, you're gonna laugh at this one. Am I? Yeah. Did you want me to keep reading tips, Kevin? Because I Sounds. don't have them. I don't have them. Alright, here we go. Hold on. Ready? Yeah. You guys ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I hold it? <laughs> this is my. Yeah. Photographs? Yeah. Hey, fire! Looks like Kevin, kind of. Oh my god! <laughs> Man, they, they kicked you out, Kevin. <laughs> oh my god. Right? Lord. See, that was a fun clip. That's what a fun clip should be. You learn something, you, you feel ever, good about yourself. Did you ever watch the landmine one? Uh, I don't know. It was like a bunch of people like trespassing this fence, like hanging out on a beach, and all of a sudden they start exploding. Jesus. And like they're all running out, and then like it zooms out, and it shows the fence that they jumped over, like a little bit further down. It was like landmine testing, or like don't trespass. And it was like... Was it a serious PSA about landmines? Yeah, well, I, it seemed like it was a serious PSA about, like, not, like, ignoring signs. It was good. All right, read the things. Tim's well, now I'm trying to find landmine PSAs. Well, they were playing soccer? No, just kids at the beach. Oh, what? No way, that's not real. I think it's like one of those, just because it's happening over there doesn't mean it doesn't matter to us kind of thing. Oh, you know I, mean? I see. Um, Josh E. Stevens says a little heart. Uh, Rod Ole, Rod Ole Fox 11. Hey guys, hope everything's going well. Oh, it's going all right. It's yes. going all right. Yeah, How are you doing? Yeah. It's uh, Rod Rodolfo Z 11, 11, 11. One one. Pone Phenom says, "How many lows could Rob Low rob? <laughs> How many lows could Rob Low rob if Rob Low could rob lows?" <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good one. We'll Manny GZ12. I'm on it. Right, uh, Q Low Q. Hey. Que lo que hay. Love y'all, homies. Hope this week is treating everyone well. Smiley emoticon. We're doing great. Thank you. Shrub Tim. Really hoping to see a boy boy story trailer at Kind of Funny Live Three. I'll make a man out of you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Luker, 8125. Good to see the whiteboard alive and well. Four months with no end in sight. Keep up the good work, boys. To the end, 523. Hey, boys. Thanks for all your hard work and the great content you produce. Been a stay-at-home dad and really appreciate the Kind of Funny Morning Show giving me a break from all the kids' shows that my kids have to watch. Thank you. You can have your kids watch this show. Yeah. They won't so know most of the words. It's very appropriate for children. Fat Bill Phenomenon. Cheers, fellas. Kills for Twinkies. Rev, one zero one zero zero one zero one. I need more of that beautiful boy Andy on stream. Press F to pay respects to Carboy's finale. Fucking Carboy's finale was a work of goddamn art. C Deers, Stefan and Manny. Ciders, but no, no I. Je m'appelle Stefan. Hey, Greg and Andy. Can you make our Peruvian chimichanga behind the camera come, come out in front and shake that ass? Oh, that ass. Kevin, you want to come over here and shake your ass? No, you're good? Okay. Why not? Oh. Fear Nick G gave a square as a comment. I don't know how he did that. Connor, greetings <laughs> from the UK. It's been a rough day. Thanks, boys. We emoji. got you. Love you. Emoji. Keep your head out. John Estashi, uh, fun ride. Uh, conversation with a nerd. Five months. Is it time to touch a nipple? Sure is. Come over here. We'll see. Astro, DK, heart. Creature, gamer. Two years, boys. 
Evan S. Thank you for that sweet Sessler cross Nick Rob Rob reunion before kind of funny Rev 3 Games was home. Now get Carboni so we can keep this orgy going. Thursday can't come fast enough. They spelled come C-U-M. Yeah. On my knees, mouth open, yeah, and I need this inside me now. Eggplant emoji. Fuck yeah. A million exclamations. Man, I'm getting game. real horny over here, guys. The Sammy Dog. Thanks so much for today's P.S. I love you XOXO, Greg. Hearing my song go into your and Colin's time capsule was so special. Mad love. Come back to Alberta soon. No. Come to San Francisco. Meet me halfway. I did it for you. Do it for me. Calamity Matt. Been a good six months. Keep up the good work, boys. Hey, Andy. How about that sweep? Who you got in the finals? Um, Warriors are going to win. Best team ever. Added the best score of all time. It's, fuck the Warriors. Oh, okay. Basketball sucks. Remake yourself. Subscribe and said 28 months, boys. Greg, how many unannounced E3 games have you already seen that you think will be game of the year contenders? Can we get a tease? Game of the year contenders? Uh, not that many. A lot, I saw a lot of good stuff. Was, was Cool Spot there? Cool Spot was there. Oh. A little bit random. It says, yeah, five months. To celebrate, I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. I don't know what he laced them with, but I've been tripping all day. <laughs> Nice. Zephyr, 7734, missed a couple of months, so it only says two months, but I subbed the better part of the past two years, or last year, woo. We saw you, we know. Uh, TJK84, thank you, Greg, for the last piece. I love you, XOXO. Can't wait to see what you've got planned next. Love you too, Candy Andy. Hey, love you. JPL1017, thank you for all you guys do. We'll always support you guys. Keep fucking that chicken or dog or whatever you're into. The rabid, the peach rabid. Oh, God. Sleazy Dragon, Wonder Woman will be great. Bongos. Uh, Pistol Sniper, 265. Shaw Doggy. Yeah, okay, Shaw Doggy. Here's a sub for my favorite candy boy. See you at Kind of Funny Life 3, Andy. Can't wait. Robert Rageson. Kind of funny. Out there answering the tough questions in life. Keep it up. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. Get busy. Gents. Thank you for the humor, silly banter, and somewhat informational knowledge you give me every morning. As always, a shout out to the Kind of Funny community and our mods. Can't wait until Kind of Funny th Live 3. Much love. Just pop my back. I... Yes, a shout out to the mods. They do great work. Uh, Jake the Snake eats the cake. Sushi Girl Alley. Cosplaying Nightwing this weekend at MegaCon in Orlando. Dedicated to Greg. <gasps> Send me photos. Send us pics. Send, Send us, us pics. Send, Send us. us pics so we can look at them. Santa. Jables 217, two months of remembering to give Amazon sweet, sweet money, to give you Amazon sweet, sweet money. Uh, Mick Fister, say my name, daddy. Oh, It's MC oh Fixer, boy. but I always say Mick Fister. Oh, uh, also, there's a free game this, this like, month for Amazon Prime. I don't remember what it Oxen is. Oxen Free. No, it's not, it's no longer that. I, th I think it's something else. It's a game I really like. Yeah, it's a game we like. If only there was a device that could tell us. It's a, it's a good game. Twitch, Prime... Game. It's a good game. game. Oh, Titan Soul. Oh, Titan Souls. Oh, Titan yeah. Souls. Yeah. I fucking love that game. Good game. Good oh, game. It's everybody. so frustrating. Um, XPi9, finally remember to use that free Prime money. The Average Dude, 45, thank you. The Middle Web, Rich Hurts, Captain Blood, Tig Biddies. Yeah, okay. Uh, diseased right. Gecko, oh, my sweet candy Andy, I'd play balls with you all day. Hell yeah. Spud. See you guys at Kind of Funny Live 3 next week. Can I get a butthole from 30 Second Review, Andy? I already did one earlier. Should I do one again? Yeah, do it again. 30 Second Review, though. No, no. He's calling me 30 Second Review, no, Andy. No, I know, but Just like, say he's saying butthole. that version of you. Uh, butthole. John Marston. Congrats on the wedding, Greg, and congrats on the new job, Andy. You're doing the Lord's work. Keep it up. We will. Rolling with dice. Hey, you guys. Love the show. You always turn my day around. I made a fun thing on my Twitter, at Rolling with Dice. Rolling with dice uh, to show my love. Don't know if you saw it, but would love to check it out and tell me what you think, good or bad. I can take it. Well, that's our final sub. So let's do this, dude. Do this. Come up to Twitter. Do this. Go there. I don't know what you made. The first thing is a GTA clip. Maybe it's in his tweet. We're watching replies. GTA clip. Tweets and replies. Oh, he did. He did some shirts here. Oh. Oh, kind of running. I see what you did here. What? Hey, guys. Long time listener. I decided to put something together for you guys. I hope you like it. He made shirts. He made a Sonic shirt. Tim would wear the fuck out of that shirt. He made kind of sunny. Oh, they're pun Kind of honey. With, I don't know if you could put Winnie the Pooh on there. I think that's... Well, I, none of these shirts can actually be made. Oh. Kind of runny What was the favorite. Pokemon one? What, uh, go, go to the Pokemon one? Kevin, you want to go to Sky King? Uh, yeah, give me two seconds. Kind of punny. Your mom likes to 
My dick. Rhydon, my dick. Uh, That's the, the Pokemon's name is Rhydon. Gotcha. You see? Got honey. Winnie the Pooh. Got sunny. That's a, That's our soul. Got a runny. And that's uh, Knuckles. Go ahead and make this knuckle shirt, and uh, Tim will wear it. Ladies and gentlemen! Kinda nucky. For real this time, that's the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subbing. God damn it, hold on. Judas5000 says, Dick Grayson is best Batman. That's bullshit. But it was really good. That was a really good run that I liked a lot, but I've closed it off now. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more. No, no, fuck! No. I should have promoted that a long time ago. Should have said that. Should have said that a long time Nick ago. Nick threw a fucking wrench in all fucking this bullshit. Fucking goddamn it. No Kind of Funny morning show tomorrow. We are prepping stuff for Kind of Funny Live 3. We'll be back on Thursday. Please forgive us. It'll be okay, everybody. Forgive us, please. We love you very much. Oh, we'll shit. talk to you soon. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.